Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello. Well, hello, and welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and I am Amanada. And for anyone who doesn't Amanada. know, this is an envelope given to me from my sister wife's closet, written by the one and only Aurora. You, oh, you can't do anything right, can you? Go away. Yeah. Go away, Aurora. <laughs> now, right <laughs> off the bat, uh, huge thanks to another Jody. Jody yes. is, oh, I don't know if you want me to say your last name. Grzyzewski. But, uh, Grzyzewski. Oh, super well, sticker. Thanks. A fellow, what, Polish-Ukrainian, just like you and I. Looks like it. One of European. us. One of us. Yeah. <laughs> just white, <laughs> as, you, white as milk. Yeah. <laughs> Jody with a Y. I sometimes am Jody with a Y, sometimes just with an I. Like in fourth grade when I dropped the E and I did a circle over my uh, I. How are you, gorgeous beautiful okay. lady and i know you hate when i say that but you are so you're like mad get the um, fine, get used to it yeah, oh you my god her. yeah i just kind of took it down to like a just like a low light color just a little like a dark i like dark it form. i'm pulling a no i like that for the movie for autumn and for winter i like it yeah. I, then i don't have to do my roots as often so yes, um, what should we talk about? Really quick, I'm wearing my new Coyote Pass long sleeve tee. Oh, I like love it. It's love so it. it's so comfy, and like look at these sleeves. This is it's big on me. That's You're why red bubbles great. Super tiny. I'm You're so, so tiny. So these sleeves, so cold. These are sleeves. So yeah. uh, but anyway, Red Bubble is currently having like a thirty to sixty percent off right now on everything. Ooh. So hey. check out Red Bubble. Again, we don't make barely anything, but for anyone oh, who wants good Christmas cents presents. Cents on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. Canadian oh, pennies. pennies. Yes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's talk about what we have uh, What we have coming up this week. I just I just took way too big of a hit, and now I'm like, where am I? <laughs> and I just took a, a little edible. So we'll see yeah. where the, where the <laughs> evening takes us. The night is young. <laughs> 3 29 p.m. And Jody's like, I think I might take an edible. I'm like, well, I guess I'll go grab my vape. And then as the theme song was going on, I, like, I went too far. So we're oh, not okay. that for the rest of the episode. Oh. Um, so wait, yeah, one, little, one little puff like does a, I don't know what's going on with my hair here. I just took um, too big of a hit. Oh, okay. So like They're one really of those big. hits is like taking an edible. Like just that one hit will give I, you a high. I don't know the lingo. Okay, sure. When I go to the you store, don't. I just say, I just say, I either, I, I want to be awake or I want to fall asleep. And they're like, okay, well, and I'm like, no melon. That's pretty much it. Um, oh, okay. okay. So really quick background and our, our color for all of it. It's all denim today. Denim mm. nails on me. Oh. I went full. Oh, denim. So good. oh, wow. So are you also a diesel jeans uh, model or? Uh, no, we know that uh, jeans don't fit me, but uh, but you know who else isn't a diesel jeans model? Robin Brown. <laughs> no, I'm weird. pretty sure if Cody says Cody it, it's true. Not. Fact. Yeah, that's not, yeah, weird. Um, mm. I feel like you are lagging. Can you do that thing where you change your internet? Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pause myself here. Okay, we'll right, see I'll what happens. We'll see what happens. How long are you gonna be on? Okay, all right. <laughs> I could do this. Okay. I, I promise you I'm not going to go anywhere. Oh, so you can. Okay. Gotcha. All right. All you, uh, what do we have here? Banners. For this week, 
uh, on Love to Hate TV, our Patreon, Sister Wives Season 9, Episode 6, Just Trying to Stay Afloat. Uh, this is the one where the Browns uh, go and build some cardboard boat, and Cody is... Uh, there you are. You're back. And we're back. Okay. That, that's a little better. It's okay. a little blurry, though. Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, okay just trying okay. to stay afloat. Sorry, guys. It might just be, it might be my internet. Uh, but okay. Cody and Robin and Christine think it's a great idea to all be on one team together. And Cody and Christine fight the entire time. And this is the episode directly after them going to um, the, this one, Counseling Texas style, uh, where they go to Texas. Super romantic. Yeah, it was really nice. There, you cleared up. Here we go. All right. We're good. Okay. Uh, Don't know what I'm doing, but there we go. Hopefully not too clear because my skin is so dry and like flaky and gross well you got so uh, my, the, my uh, the thing where it does the automatic adjustment wasn't on when i was doing my makeup and i was like why do i look so busted right now and then i'm like uh, i don't, don't think have I was shit okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try to put mine on yeah you we'll just see what happens. Happens. Okay. all right also on uh trp uh leah remini it's all relative i've never even heard of this i assume it's about um, Scientology, uh, but the episode two point uh, two, season two, episode six. I'm a huge star in Malaysia. I have no idea what it's about, but love the show. Um, have you watched it? Yeah, I, I, it's not on anymore, but I did watch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's gotcha. touching me up. So let's see what it happens. Oh, oh, that's I'm just a blur. I'm a mere blur of a human. Yeah. I love it. It's perfect. I love it. Okay. Um, and if you want to submit a TRP request, you just have to email us at amandajody1 at gmail.com. Or you can email us through Patreon. And um, this week on uh, Love to Hate Teen Mom, Skeletons in the Closet. But also I did reach out to um, Tracy and Noel from Teen Mom Trash Talk. I'm like, hey, yeah. I'm back doing this. Do you want to do a collab? And, and they're like, totally, like they were instantly like, yes. Oh, I so love that. So that was fun. Yeah. So they'll be yeah. on. Um, they're like the biggest Teen Mom podcast out there. <clears throat> I wanted to really quickly promote um, our Facebook has like a live chat, apparently, that like people can just like be like a little message room like a Ooh. studio where people can just message each other all day. And okay. I didn't know that was there, but uh, I clicked on it the other day and it's a lot of great people in there, like hilarious people, obviously. And they're just talking oh, all day. So you guys can all do that. Um, and everyone's like really nice in there and funny. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that I did uh, notice also this week was um, I was uh, looking around Patreon and there's this new tab called member posts. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's this? And it's just and it, oh, no. walking through a minefield, I swear to God. I was oh, like, no. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And there was a couple nice comments, but then like, Amanda needs to shut the fuck up and let okay, Jody Okay, okay, yeah. Let's, what? I'm like, no, hey, I'm terrible at interrupting. That's me. That's my fault. We interrupt each other because we're just talking to each other. I don't even care. But I was like, oh, never clicking on that again. <laughs> Yeah. Nope, so if you're in that group that. chat, just don't write stuff like that. Go ahead and do it on the Patreon, I guess, if you want. Uh, but that was a fun little thing. I wanted to also really, uh, since Redbubble's having a sale, um, I came up with, I'm, I want to think of new designs for us. And um, this person on our Facebook, like, threw this together and somehow already printed it out. Um, her name's Casey. And she made one that says, DLO didn't laugh once. So I want to steal this, if you'll let us. Yeah. Um, and then she also made one. She also made this one, which I want to steal. It says, go so away. So good. Yeah. And then I, I I, made this one. I thought it was to the point. It just says akimbo, period. I love that. I need that on a sweatshirt. It's very like Brooks Marks, the Brooks Marks collection. It is. Just akimbo, akimbo, just like akimbo, 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 akimbo. Yeah. Oh, but the, so remember the like, harness was not included. No that. harness included on any of our Ooh, merchandise. <laughs> anyway. no. Um, how are you doing? Did anything happen to you this week? I didn't do anything except for podcasts. Uh, it's just been a, a busy weekend, just busy go, go, going. You know, um, my basement is almost done. We're almost getting oh. there so I could be out of my room, out of my room office for a while. Um, are you gonna go back in the office? 
for recording, yeah. Oh, I mean, fun. You know, okay. That's kind of the best where everyone thinks that I'm just on the Sitting shitter. The yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm taking a shit. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the goal is to get back in there, but it's just full of crap right now. <laughs> God, it's oh, like okay. the shitter, but I'm boom. Um, um uh, nothing happened to me. My mom came and she helped me um reorganize my pantry. That, that was oh did she yeah. line it with contact paper, Amanda? Yeah, it was a, that was a real it was the first time I ever like heard my mom like really get close to cursing at least. She was she was not having it. It was hard. Oh, that is oh. much harder than it looks, especially when it's like a pantry where you have to like lean down and like get oh yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get any do. bubbles in there. Yeah, you, you do because and then it's so sticky once you get started, it's, it's over. You, so you did as you call it the Amanda special, what Janelle did, where you're like, Oh, do you need oh. some help? Do you want me to? I'll just hold the contact no, paper here the for you when you need when it. My, when my mom comes over to help me, she forces me into the Amanda special. She like doesn't um, want me to touch anything. So I get that. But it looks good. The the closet I looks real nice. Um, I think that's it. Is there anything else we were supposed to address at the top? We're gonna address during Brown Family Corner, obviously, the Cody yeah. interview. That's the big news of the week. Um I don't yeah, know. That's why. all that happened. That's all that happened this past week. I got another couple things here. Uh, oh. It just seems, oh, come he's going to regret saying that Diesel. I'm sure that Robin was like, why did you say that? Now everyone is blowing up my comments and making memes. Uh, and like, just well, all these she's never wearing things. Diesel jeans again, babe. <laughs> she's going to be in long skirts. Mm -hmm. Um, so and like the live chat was just so everyone hates him. The the mm -hmm. the the speed of the comment. So we'll get into that during Brown Family Values. Yep. Um, should we get into some hot topics? Oh, yeah, I'm ready right. for it. Thank you, word nerd, for explaining the akimbo thing. Yeah, you guys are great. <laughs> it's just a funny word to say instead of like here and there or all over the we just say akimbo. all over the place. Yeah. yeah, we know it's wrong, but it's like funny. At least exactly, just like some of our designs on our mugs are akimbo. They're akimbo all over the mugs. Yeah, check it out. All mugs, over the mugs. glasses, all that kind of stuff. Uh, can you guys tell us in the comments if Jody's internet is better now than it was before? Because it's still like a slight delay. I think, uh, okay, I am going to say once again, I'm going to take the facial blur off. And I'm telling you, Maybe it makes the internet work too hard to try to touch up this <laughs> this mug. I'm just going to go full wrinkles, full flaky dry skin. Look, much clearer, right? Well, when you move your hands, it's not like it's not like a Lisa Lamb video where her hands are like. Oh God, careful, babe! <laughs> Elisa Lamb, and she had the Lamb Elisa test. Test. I mean, we, that was a little we bit can of a stretch. Go on that if we want, but um, yeah. no, my face um, with the face filter is like the um, Y two K for for stream yard to stream us right now. <laughs> I think it's that you have more than one person in your house using the internet. Uh, well, one of them's getting, well, they're both getting picked up soon. So we'll see. Well, they shouldn't be allowed to use the internet between 4.30 and 7.30. Oh, okay. That, I'll, I'll let the teenagers know that. Uh... I love it. <laughs> no TV either. Oh, <laughs> We're God, off. no. No, I'm there's the everything in this house. Turn the fire detectors off while we're at it. Because everything's on a freaking wireless sensor now. <gasps> All right, let's okay. see what the uh, top story is. Uh, well, somebody just uh, tagged me in in this. It was Jenna. She tagged me in this uh, post on Facebook, and I was, like, super excited. What am I doing? I, like, can't function this right now. She tagged me in this amazing post, and, I mean, it's uh, it's about how my favorite show in the world uh, just got renewed for a third Rest season. Oh, food. No, uh, food. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> AKA the bear <laughs> it renewed for season three, which I don't know why that's really big news. Obviously it was going to, it's like the most popular show on Hulu because people like people with good taste enjoy it. Sure. Okay. Uh, the other big news here, I guess of the week is that Bravo con happened. Oh my God. This is all over my TikTok. 
Yeah, and I, I I don't mind watching. I don't really know who anyone is other than, um, other than the VPR cast and maybe like a handful of the housewives. I watched Teresa and uh, Joe, Joe Gorga. Not Joe Gorga. What's her husband's name with the flaring nostrils? Oh, Louie. Ugh. Yeah, I, I watched them answer like some question. I'll get into that in a second. But I just wanted you to see this douchey-ass picture of Andy Cohen. What a fucking like, Thank you. Nerd. Thank you for What a out. dork. <laughs> like, everyone behind him on stage is like getting secondhand cringe in this picture. This is very DLO. Didn't laugh once. I don't no. think he's that funny. I don't think he's that talented. I don't think he's a great host. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm just like over it. Yeah. Give me something. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, he's, I, I think that beyond the blinds does an episode about Andy Cohen. Um, and he's yeah, like, I've a, heard some things too. He's a blind item queen, if you will. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I watched, um, someone ask a question, uh, uh, to Louie. She's like, in 10 words, what's your job? Did you see this? Yes. She, like, I fingers. loved it. And he's They're like, getting oh. bold. I love it. Just like the comment, uh -huh. just like that Colin person in the Cody interview, which we'll get to. I actually have a um, a video of it. Um, but he, she's like, intent. And then what was his answer? He's like, uh, I'm a social media uh, an, an analyst. And so that basically mm -hmm. that means, and she's like, yeah, you're you're out already. You're done. <laughs> like, and Teresa's just like, what? What? What did she say? It sounded very Jen Shaw to me, to be honest. Uh, social what? media uh marketing media marked I, so basically oh. i uh nope it's the nope. same thing as on tinder someone saying i'm an entrepreneur i work in finance i work for myself uh, ah yeah so i'm an investor mm, so just well, admit so it, at least. into like jewel <laughs> osco okay i buy a lot of cheese and yogurt so i'm an investor too the last episode of teen mom i did uh, oh, it was with Nick. It's where Amber and Matt like want to buy a they they want to like invest in houses so that they can open a sober living center. And yep. the whole time Matt's just like talking about their money. This is our money. And the realtor takes them into one house to look at because their the their the asking price is eighteen thousand dollars, which oh, okay. it seems, it seems low. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, that she takes her to this house that was obviously completely encompassed in a full fire at some point. Mm -hmm. And Amber's, they're like, whoa. And then the realtor's like, so what do you do, Amber? And she's like, um, I've been on this show, Teen Mom. Uh, and, and actually now it's called Teen Mom OG. And the woman's like, okay. And she's like, and what do you do, Matt? And Amber's like, he's my fiance. <laughs> like, well, at least you're being truthful about it and not saying he's a DJ anymore yeah. or whatever. Right. You gotta respond, I guess. Uh, I, I just had like a, a a wave of nausea hitting me, thinking of how many women have had to climb yeah. atop Matt Bayer. How? How does that happen? Because he's got like at least 28 kids or something like that. So that yeah. many women. How? How? I don't know. He's still busted. He's, he's so, so busted. disgusting. He's so yeah. gross. Amber, I'm coming <laughs> for you. <laughs> you got a good life. You got to tell someone, kid. Such a loser. Such a loser. Um, okay. Uh, so I have a picture of, um, of I can't believe Tom Sandoval, what he wore to, to drag on. Um, so cast your eyes upon this crazy picture. I hate you. It's a picture of Howie dressed as Sherlock and the caption is, Howie, is it okay. shrimp night? It's shrimp night. Yeah. Seems problematic because aren't, isn't a shrimp, is a, is a shrimp a crustacean? And so is Howie. That seems like. I was just going to say, <laughs> like seems eating its scary. own. Yeah, it seems like And that. um, Mother Howie, now we delineate, now we distinguish what is food well, and what is a pet? A, yeah. What is the word? What well, is the says word? who? Satian <laughs> or whatever? Um, shit. Nick Weiger always says it. Oh, whatever. I've said it a million times. No one cares. Uh, transient. Transient. Tra it, transient it means that they have feel know. feelings like humans and they feel pain. Oh, I thought you said sentient. Sentient. Thank you. Yeah. Sentient. Um, yeah. 
I just but. think this is ridiculous. <laughs> this it remind this reminds me of the episode of um An Idiot Abroad with Carl Pilkington. Oh, the one China of the funniest episode? shows. The China episode is it's the first the episode. funniest thing. Yes. If you are just it's in great. a really shitty or depressed mood, I can't tell you how many times I've just put it on where I'm like, I just need something that's gonna make me laugh my ass off every time. And he sees this woman with um like fried scorpions on a skewer stick. It's like street food and she's eating it. And he just like looks over and he's so he's disgusted. in the background, like watching her. And like... he's like, oh, uh. <laughs> but like a, he makes a really good point. He goes, where does she draw the line? Like if she goes into her bathroom and she sees a spider in the bathtub, is she like, oh, dinner? Like, where, where, which is like a good point. Like these are bugs. It's the same point, thing she's with eating, like, the strip. Does somebody eating a, uh, a bat on a stick which careful because coronavirus oh god yeah let's not let's not joke about that babe can't joke about that babe shouldn't joke about that oh speaking of which in that group chat thing um somebody just said somebody uh, i think i took no i didn't take a screenshot i forgot somebody in there was like oh my god i just started watching the office and i finally got to the uh secret secrets Thing. Oh, and then yes. I, I wrote stripper, and then someone someone else was like, "Oh, me and my wife just always call each other stripper, stripper. now." <laughs> stripper. Oh, I love um, that. But then somebody else put this quote, which I think we need to add to our uh, okay, our, our what vernacular or our vocab is um, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, she asked, "Is she hot?" And then Dwight goes, uh, "Text back, kind of." About it's about the stripper. Because oh, Michael, okay. they go to the stripper and Michael texts him, Is she hot? And then Dwight in front of the stripper is like, Text back, kind of. <laughs> do, you, do you not remember that? I don't, do but I'll watch it? it. That's weird. Okay. It's the same episode. Okay. I'll, I'll go back not, and watch it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really getting invested into all of these um, the comments. health <laughs> tips that are going on in the comments. Rubbing about alcohol what? and vinegar in your ear. For what? Oh, we have like a whole thing. I mean, listen, we're this is a self help group as well. Yeah, the seasons we are changing. The hot steam floating. vaporizer. We want you guys to feel well. Flow days. Yes, it really helps. It's it's all a big system here. Anyway, if you're listening to this on audio, get over here. You're missing yeah. everything going on in the chat. That's like little part. video. And I got I got a couple good things. Uh, here. Really, here is actually Tam Tom Sandoval. Okay. Um, he wore a. I don't. Okay, look, I don't mind. A, skirt this seems like he's saying fuck you to the audience the denim it's a denim week jody it's denim, just like, thirsty pretty flirty squirt first squirt. he ruined <laughs> is that a freudian slip there amanda amanada <laughs> careful <laughs> Right. Anyway, the Sandoval, the Sandoval squirt. Okay, got it. Um, <laughs> Sandoval <Jesus>. squirts. <laughs> now I know. Um, no, everybody now, get... and now. Was he going for a kilt? Was that what the goal? Like a Cody kilt? But he if ended he up wore an actual kilt, I would have been like, "That's pretty hot." I like a man in a kilt. This is just annoying. Yeah, it's. It actually reminds me of, um, I don't know if we're jumping into like what we're watching, but it reminds uh, we're me about of, to get into that. okay, well, I'll just say it reminds me of Brayden, I think his name's Brayden, on Bachelor in Paradise, who wears like oh, long, okay. dangly no women's earrings, like just to be like, mm, I'm different. I'm cool. Look at me. Yeah, that's, that's very I can wear women's that. clothes. It's stupid. But fine, Tom, do your thing. And then here's a picture of the two Toms. I'm like, you two are... Ew, the one on the right <laughs> is getting more busted by the day. What is Shorts? that? Oh, woof. Put on the fake glasses again. All right, is that a well, sweater? What is it's that? It's a blazer. Or a sports okay. jacket, I don't know. I feel like I feel like blazer is what you say if it's a woman. If it's... um. What is what's what is Michael Scott accidentally cross-dressed in? Oh, what's mysterious. Mysterious. Yes. Uh -huh. He's like, Tom's it actually has no like truly. I don't like it, babe. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. And um, for anyone who watches Vanderpump Rules, we're not gonna get like super into it, but but the trailer 
finally dropped like at BravoCon. It's one minute long, so I'm gonna play it. So oh, like okay, have, okay, okay. One okay. minute of your day, I'm like, um, let's do this. So I don't know if I should have flipped it, but nobody really. Yeah, not thing. You're muted. Okay, I got you. Oh, I I unmuted. I think we're both pressing it at the same time. Just go ahead and press it. All right, say something. All right, there we go. Okay, I, I hear the song again, and I don't know why. You do? Oh, oh now it went off. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, that was I think that's a great trailer. And uh, uh, the last killed her seconds. dog. No, people are this because I obviously asked Justine. She said people are saying that um, he didn't give the dog the meds, and well, Ariana, well, Ariana was out of town. She was uh, on like some girls' trip, and then she had to like go home early mm. because the dog was like she ended up dying so i think that that's what it was that he just didn't give her like oh meds my or something. god so but the last 30 that, seconds of that isn't that also a plot line from the office with the, the cat sprinkles yes sprinkles, sprinkles was in the freezer yeah <laughs> angela's like well uh, or um somebody's like angela just lost her cat and michael's like sprinkles he like knows her name <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's oh. really concerned uh yep. that i got so excited when like the glass breaks at the beginning there since no one could see me i just allowed it to get it out of my system but i had like 30 whole seconds of just me tourettesing i was just like oh <laughs> i was, I, was I, I looked up and i was like oh thank god no one can see me all right oh. uh my mom just messaged me i like your hair and it looks like you lost weight thanks is Daphne my dosage watching tomorrow. yeah that's why i try not to curse hello, too much hello miss kachinsky <laughs> She usually watches about 15 minutes and she doesn't like the cursing. So I try to be as like G-rated as possible. Okay, we're in our but best I'm sure we behavior. <laughs> All right, best behavior. Uh, so that was the trailer. And then the other- Smash that like for thing. Daphne in the chat, guys. Oh, Daphne in the chat. Yeah, she just, I, uh, I just watched a few minutes of your live. Um, <laughs> she, and she's gone now. So I think we can be- Oh, we can go okay. Well. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, Justine. Um, I asked Justine, what what from BravoCon like are the is the big news things? Like, what did you see? Did you see anything, Jody? I've seen like, a lot of little things. I saw um, the entire crowd was booing uh, Jennifer. Oh, and Tom Sandoval. Oh, I'm sure they were booing Jennifer. They're giving Teresa. Uh, some karma, I think. Like everyone's really given her hate, her and Louie calling them on. Good. Like, just, like, they get rid suck. Of them. They don't do anything. They're like, both so unlikable. So, her storyline's boring. She's so dumb. The drama she causes, like, I do think she gets into it, but also, I, it's just not fun to watch people who are intellectually that stupid anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it's always always here's the question of where do we draw the line? Like because Ramona, I think Ramona's back on the show. Oh, New York. Then, yeah, and then they but then they New York season is her. like <gasps> maybe that's not what it is. I think it was that they well chose now they're not doing legacy. Right. So they chose not to edit her out of that, I think is what it was. But then like they should have edited her out technically, but they're like, no, we're gonna keep her in, but we're gonna uninvite her to BravoCon. So like, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then um, Kyle Richards crying over Mauricio, I thought was, I be, I kind of believe it now, I guess. Right? Oh, wait, I didn't see that at BravoCon. She cried over him? Yeah, she was, she's like, you know, it was just, it's been hard and, you know, he's been busy, but we're still trying to make it work. And she's like, I just, we really do care about for each other. And then she just like was, but she, it was a genuine cry. It wasn't a Robin Brown cry or an Amber Portway cry. It was like, she was clearly emotional and trying to like keep it in. So Kyle does know. that a lot though. Okay. <laughs> well, she's a much better actress than most of these celebs anyway, then. Um, I'm not then a big I... Kyle fan. So ugh. like poor little oh, rich girl. Either. You're fine. Right. Yeah. And I saw that, um, are, okay, Ariana, like, okay, why are you, she's still this pissed about this? It's been a year. Like, you know, you right, and the that. best, the best, what is it? The best revenge is a comeback or the best revenge is not caring at all right. sort of a thing. But it's just coming across like, as like, all oh, right, 
Like, are you still that Enough. mad at your ex? Like, okay. I was like sitting next to like no, Brad. Mad? And no. then got brought up that he that shitty that he did. I'd be like, yeah. I wouldn't be like, that was so fucked up. And she's still in that no, headspace. Like, there's a little there's things that come up that annoy me, but mad anymore? No. Like, like that you, you on a panel would be that yourself. Because if they don't give a fuck, then like right. And yeah, uh, no, but it's and like then she, it truly this. No pun intended. This is like Cody being upset with Christine. Like you got to get over it at some point. Like settle yeah. down. And he's it's still happened. not because that interview. He's still he's still bitching about. It. He's like me. You know, I saw an interview he did with People. I think it was when he got nominated like most hated celebrity of the past year. Or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he's always in that little corner with by the china cabinet with all the little um, precious angel precious moments yeah. dolls. Why is this your spot that you're recording these interviews? Because you're having everything else is hoarded. Everything that, else is well, hoarded. That is hoarded. That China cabinet looks hoarded as well. But yeah, um, he did an interview with people, and this was recent. This is like last month, and so and the interviewer was like, um, "Do you, um, how are you and Robin like now? Are you more relieved, and now you guys just get to kind of enjoy each other?" And he's like, "Um, me and Robin are going through a death." It's like, okay, you're actually not going through a death in any way. Uh, your kids are probably going to be going through a death yeah, soon. If they even know. And, uh, but and well, we'll no, we can't talk about that. <laughs> no, no, no yeah. don't, don't, don't you dare. Um, and then, uh, oh, but the mm. first night of BravoCon, I guess the next day on stage, somebody revealed, I think, it, was it James? Some messy cast member was like, well, I heard that Sheena was partying in Tom Sandoval's room with Lala. And then Lala's like, I was absolutely not there, but I think Sheena was. And Ariana is now pissed off. And her and Katie are like, well, I don't know why she mm. would do that to herself. It's like, you're not in charge of Sheena or her career. And like, get over it. Yeah. I I'm just upset by it. I think I may need Alexa. to jump into this season because you guys watch Vanderpump Rules. I know you went back and watched everything. So the new season, no, I, I think I just seem to like hop in. I thought you did go back watched, and watch all of them. No, I watched that like, uh, I doubt I can even find it again, but I'm sure someone has it. Uh, oh, so I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the encyclopedia of the best of. Yes. Too. Yeah, it was like 10 episodes. I watched that okay. and then I watched the whole most recent season. Then I went back and I watched season one and two, I think, and then I kind of fell off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you watched a lot of it, though. So maybe I'll no, just yeah, jump in the season. Definitely. Okay. Or watch the whole last season, too. It, that one, it's very good. Okay. Um, And I think that's all I have to say about that. Are people, I'm not looking at the comments just because I'm handling all this other shit, but like, uh, are people mad at me for saying for Ariana to get over it? I don't know. It's no. Triggering. No. Sorry. No, we're just talking just... about BravoCon and stuff. Yeah. And it's not like she's 22 years old. She's like our age. Isn't she? She's like 38 or something. And I she has so. a new boyfriend. So get over it. Yeah, it's about time. Mom's life is ruined. It's, okay, I have whatever. About time. Anyway, um, let's get into, or do you, oh, do you have anything else? That was No, people are saying that? in the chat that it was Ace that asked Sheena that question. Who's Ace? Of Ace and Caitlin? I was it? So. Oh my I God. Oh. So. Yep, I'm going back. People oh are saying, God, yep. really? Is it on I video? I must have just seen, uh, maybe the interviewer repeated it or something, but I did not see the person who asked it, or maybe I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to look that up. A world's okay. colliding. Post it in our Facebook group, guys. And if you're not a part of our Facebook group, join right now. I'll let you in as we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we love to hate TV and you just have to answer the questions even if you don't know the answers. Just say, I don't know. And let's go into <sighs> what are we watching? <laughs> you watching you'll never get told uh I'm, I'm still plugging along on my bachelor in paradise and then of course the golden bachelor and i also watched the documentary that you said that we needed to watch i did is, not. oh i knew <laughs> you were gonna do it i like dedicated three hours 
have to watch this thing. Um, well, I'll watch it. it, it desperately it seeking time. soulmate about okay. the Twin Flames universe. Is it worth watching? Um, I actually got into it. It's kind of edited strangely, but I, I, it's a very easy watch. Put it on. It's wild. It's a wild ride. And where is it? Sorry, where is it on? I was just writing down the timestamp. Um, I wasn't. A Prime Video, I believe. Ah, there. It's not free it's for me free. in Canada, babe. Oh, not, not in Canada. Well, I can only get I can only get Prime Originals. But it's okay. I still pay for Amazon. It might be Prime. a Prime original, though. Anyway. Oh, we'll okay. I'll look it up. Um, my uh, my mom when she came over, I have to give her her. Um, I always give her like my recycling because she's got this huge like this huge community like garage with like all these dumpsters and recycling in them, and I can't do. They, okay. They only pick up my recycling every two weeks. And the amount of like that's weird stick I go through and also boxes. I'm like, can I give you a few of my boxes? They're all broken down. And it was like 30 boxes. She's like, oh my you God. Sure order from Amazon a lot. I'm like, well, I pay for it. Yeah. It's free. Okay. Um, um so go ahead. I, I'll just say briefly, Bachelor in Paradise. It is a it's a sleeper show. I, I'm gonna say probably like those first five episodes. It's like Hey, was who is this? What is going it? on? But it's so, it's the perfect, um, I would say like if you're going to do a little edible, if you're just like, I just want to laugh at people how stupid it is. It's such a great show. That was like you get in, you get into best it guttural laughs. They're so mm -hmm. dumb. And yeah. they, they just get caught up in it. And there's this batshit crazy chick. I forgot her name, but she's losing her mind. Like you see people that go there and they know it's a show, but before they know it, they are caught up in it and they've gone psychotic. They've gone I think when crazy. you said Bachelor in Paradise originally, I, in my mind, was thinking, not are you the one, but the one with like all the realities, the, are, the, the stars and it's like hot, hot something. Surreal life? No, it, they're all on like an island. It's the exact same premise as Bachelor in Paradise, except it's on Netflix. Someone. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I thought it was that, but now I'm remembering what actual Bachelor in Paradise is, and that was good when that girl threw the cake into the fire. I'll so always remember yep. that. Yep. Um, <laughs> we're asking if you can check out Latrice because we feel like the the door has shut Latrice out. The door is shut to the point where she can push it open if she wants. Oh, okay. Thank God. I gave Walter a um, pig ear right before we started. And if I give him that, he's going to go bury it in my bed. Unless I close the door. Ew! Gross! Yeah. Or I'll bury it okay. like, in the couch Let's... and then I sit on like this sharp, hard oh, pig ear. God, stop it. I just have <laughs> whole body chills. Gross. Oh my God, you're fine. You have a dog. Uh, all right. Yeah, I don't have pig ears though. Um, Perfect match is what people are saying. The show Perfect is match. Thank you. See, you guys are, you guys I can always count on you. Now, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll watch that then. Well, I need to get through all my friends episodes. I did buy oh, all my nice. 180 big ones on that. Oh my God. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, I spent the last two nights just overnight as I slept, it was entering into my dreams. I listened to, and I'd already listened to it last year, but I listened to Matthew Perry's audiobook twice. Oh, no. And honestly, it's it's so good. He's very, oh God, it's creepy. Like there are so many times in the first minute of the book, he says something like, yeah, I, I'm Matthew Perry. I shouldn't be alive. Uh, like he says that he's like, he, I, oh. I might not even be here in like next year. Like he says stuff like that. That's really throughout sad. The entire book. He, like he'll be like, yeah, this is, it could kill me and it's going to kill me. Like he, he knew that when he was recording that he's like, this yeah. will inevitably kill me. It's just awful. And he's like, he's like, it just sucks. Cause you know, all I wanted was to be famous and have this great life. And I'm looking at his other five castmates and he's like, why did I get cursed with this? Like, yeah. why are none of you? And he talks about like when he did the whole nine yards with Bruce Willis, he's like, Bruce Willis can party like nobody I've ever seen, but he's like, but he doesn't have the, the gene or whatever. And he's like, I just look yeah. at all these people and I'm like, all of you don't, he suffered every second of his life basically. And like the mm -hmm. amount of surgery is like his, he has so many surgeries in his stomach, his colon, um, just it's it's a hard listen but i think it's honestly like 
everyone should have that's their a hard team. disease too. I mean, that's it really is. hard. And I, I mean, I don't like get like too personal with stuff, but yeah, like, I mean, the, my, I, I don't like the word boyfriend. So I'll just say the man that mm -hmm. I'm seeing, um, he's in recovery and it's, I never realized uh, like the extent which, to which drinking, like much like when we say like, okay, if you have like a food addiction, right? Like you can't just be like, okay, yeah. I'm not going to eat food. Um, the, the point at which alcohol in particular is so normalized, not to bring this whole thing down, but like, for example, when I was at my work function, right? It was, oh, like you get drink tickets. Like you, everyone's getting like three alcohol tickets at night. And then you have to be the one to be like, oh, no, no, I'm not drinking. And what, what would people do i would do this too i'm totally good like oh come on come on like oh, oh yeah I have one. i'm the worst with because that because you don't yeah like you don't miss but you don't like realize that 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 social yeah. norm it is normal to like go to a baseball game and you're gonna have a drink go to your friend's birthday party and have a drink and yeah people don't take like oh no no, no i'm good they don't take that for an answer and but then I, you, again, also don't wanna, you also don't want to you also don't want to say i'm person. sober if you say right? i'm sober then it's then it's awkward then it's like then it's awkward or you're gonna make that person feel bad because then if someone right. said that to me i'd be like oh my god i am so sorry yeah. and then it becomes and then a you don't get thing. invited to things because people are like well if they come they're gonna be miserable anyway we all know but yeah. uh i think that everyone should make like teenagers listen to that like at the age where most teenagers would be like there's no cursing yeah. in it there's maybe five curses in it maybe and it's like, oh, he's like, like it'll be like a god damn it, like why, why the fuck did I turn up? Like it's stuff like that. He doesn't talk about. Yeah. Sex or and then that starts up. like a whole shame cycle. From what I'm like learning and stuff, it's like it's this whole shame thing. And oh god, it's just. So I gotta give it to him to like awful. that he came out this honest about how what that's like to not. I just I don't let myself even have one drink now unless I'm somewhere where I can't get more because like I know I'll just mm -hmm. like want to keep drinking because I'm having a great time. So yeah, that's why we're sticking with the vape. <laughs> oh, you guys are great well. in the chat, by the way. Like, there's some really great comments. I'm reading all of them. This oh, is I like can't very... wait to go back and read them later. Yeah, I always do. I love to read everything. Um, so really, everyone check it out. Um, and you can, I mean, if you're not, if you haven't had Audible before, you can just sign up for a free trip. No, that's not what it is. They're having a sale right now for your first three months. You only pay five dollars. So I re signed up for yes. it to get them, mm -hmm. and I bought that. And I might also buy John Stamos's book because he's he's going on this like uh, really uh, a two, yeah, and he's just I don't know he comes across as a little sleazy, but I would like to know the uh, inner workings of those. Amy J. Oh. Requiem yes. for a Dream scared me straight from hard drugs. Uh, same. I I still get a flash of that one scene, and I'm not going to say the line, but like it really traumatize me in such a way i can't get that out of my head like that really did mess me up that and uh euphoria are you gonna say the line oh no you i was love just gonna that say this my, my it's my number one favorite movie in fact ever that will i it, don't no one will ever know. top that second is sex in the city first movie third is waiting for guffman fourth is south park bigger longer and uncut five is a league of their own <laughs> I, I mean, it's gonna have to be a pretty good movie to to top any of those. That's been my list for like ten years. Okay, uh, Matthew Perry. Okay, here's another thing because I do want to talk about Golden Bachelor, obviously. But yeah. um, I feel like you didn't see this unless it probably came up on your algorithm on TikTok. But I had seen a couple of clips from it, and then Julie sent it to us, and she's like, "This is such a good interview. I listened to the whole thing, and it's um." Taryn Manning being interviewed by Whitney Cummings, who I'm not a huge fan of. But okay, yeah, I'm seeing this too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this was. I mean, look, you know how she like kind of got canceled over the past little bit. What are you doing? Oh, you're pointing the wrong I'm way. I'm pointing there. to the I, comment wherever that is. Yes, Elise girl, oh. that is the comment that yes. absolutely traumatized me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. I'm it, surprised babe. they let you write that in the in the chat. I feel like people usually get like dinged for that. But sure, whatever. Glad swirly one. Um, okay, so this interview, she kind of got canceled last year. Uh, she's been canceled a few times, and people think that she's wacko. It's like the most charming interview ever. And Whitney Cummings is fine in it too. She's not. She just seems like kind of a gr a gr an aggressive energy for me. Yes, but, I agree. But Taryn is 
so fun. <laughs> Julie from Resting Bitch Face. I was says, leaving that there. Dream is the tusk of drug movies. <laughs> The other week when we were talking about Tusk, people in the chat were like, do not, do not fall for this. Do not watch Tusk. Because other people were like, oh, I've never seen it. I'll add it to my list. People were like, no. Uh, so yeah. this Taryn Manning interview, I listened to like three quarters of it. Like 25 oh, wow. entire minutes of it is just Whitney Cummings doing ads. But Taryn Manning is so cute and likable. And I would like, she really? just somebody. Yes. I think that she does get like, you know, a little wasted and maybe she, I don't know. Like, and she does these crazy, like that one thing that she, the one she did where she's sitting in the car and she's talking about like how she's dating that married guy and she likes to lick his mm. butthole. Mm -hmm. That was a little unhinged there. So I think she well, might get drunk sometimes and just post things, but she was completely yeah. like lucid. She was saying such funny things, like hilarious really? shit. Yeah, the huh. first thing is Whitney Cummings is like, uh, can we talk about Crossroads? And it, this is the first, her first line. She's just like, oh my God, we have to shut down one time because Britney had acne. And then she just looks right at the camera and she goes, the... pizza face. Yeah, <laughs> that's very funny. Yeah, that's so she horrible. Just, she's so, she's witty and funny. And I'm like, this was the best thing you could have done to improve your image. Even though I, I honestly don't think she even cares. She, she's very much yeah. a fuck you person. Um, yeah, I saw the Britney Spears acne mm -hmm. part, and I saw the part where she said she's down to ten thousand dollars, and yeah, I saw that she's she broke and she part. just doesn't care. It's like, ugh, I don't know, um, you know. But then, but she, uh, I don't know, she's just really cool, and she did say this uh, this thing, that Whitney Cummings, and everyone in the studio just burst out laughing because it's such a shocking thing. But they're talking about being canceled, and Whitney was like, "Well, I actually was working on." Uh, the Roseanne reboot when all of that shit happened. And um, she was like posting a lot of stuff. And then Taryn's like, oh, wasn't it like the thing about like, like someone looking like a monkey? And Whitney's like, well, yeah, there was also that. And then Taryn's like, yeah, but Roseanne's always kind of been a jokester, right? And everyone just like, the way she said it was so like unexpected. And okay. everyone was like, and Whitney's like, oh my God, she's like, <laughs> she's like, it's like what it was like should i not have said that i don't know it was just it was charming. i don't know why she don't just makes me so uncomfortable right but i promise you if you watch okay. this you'd be like okay. she seems cool as fuck um i want to name okay. a couple of the things that uh i really know her from obviously crossroads but the thing that i know her the most from and they've talked about this on wrestling bitch face is um that it's like a made for tv movie and it's about the ariel castro like kidnappings okay you know, we're talking about. and she plays michelle knight in it do you know what i'm talking about With i know oh. do, do i know <laughs> like, amanda no Barry, know ariel castro do you know john benet like yeah we know okay i didn't know she played her though yeah and it like it, she's kind of the main character because she's the first one that gets abducted and okay she's so good in it it's like a very good movie huh so maybe check that I can out. see that because she is really nutty, much like Elisa's here. I feel like she is Pensatucky. I agree. Oh, she 100%. Just... Speaking of, sorry, this just made me think of, and I have to say this because I feel like I'm speaking for the group here. Uh -huh. Speaking of Orange is the New Black, the, I believe it's an Old Navy commercial with Natasha okay. Leone. Oh my God, I just saw that like last night and I was like, happening i to this woman cannot that is it's like the um um i'm like a bird i only fly away i hate that song natalie and Bruglia. i've always hated it it's just like uh no oh, i kind of like that that's not natalie and Bruglia, is it she no. was torn oh she was torn um anyway cover. it's just like nails on a chalkboard i can't take natasha leon like that's not that's not her personality she just talks yeah. like that all the like, time. She's so like freaking she's annoying. Sexy. Nelly Furtado yeah. is the person's name. Nelly Furtado. Like, there we go. Yeah. She looks like um, Fox. God, that uh, just the old Navy commercial. It's one of those things that I can't. It they, makes me. She is. She is very reminiscent of Karen Hannon, Just kind of like very much a character. Yeah, and they're Natasha both in Orange Is the New Black, right? Like, can you imagine being on oh, set yeah, with yeah. those? Oh my God. Oh, I'm sure. I they must have done a beyond the blinds of that. I'm sure that if they did that episode is oh. why. 
Um, they also did an entire Taryn Manning episode, which is also great. Let's check out Beyond the Blind. Um, oh, interesting. But that Ariel Castro thing is like, it's, it's, it's really good. So it's a TV movie. Okay. I'm sure you can find it. Um, but here's a couple of things I wrote down. Um, she said this one time, Orange is the New Black was filming. And the girls all like to like pal around and stuff. And she's like, I showed up. And she's like, I would always just go to my trailer and just like chill and relax. Cause she's like, this is my job. I want to go home. She's like, I'm not trying to yeah. like, you know, she's like, I'm never mean to anyone, but she's like this one particular day I got there and like, I had a terrible night. I had been up all night because I found out that my boy, my ex-boyfriend had slept with my best friend. And then we, I was on the phone mm. with them like all night. So it was like one of those she's nights. She's got a good picker. Before. She she's does. Got a real good picker. Well, most mm -hmm. men in general um, are just, that's true. Best. Yes. That's true. <laughs> they, just, they don't disappoint ever. But she got to set and she was in a pissy mood. And she's like, well, I was pissed because she's like, I didn't, I didn't bitch out anyone. She's like, I just went to my trailer. And then I was, I ended up being in a pissy mood because we started filming. And she's like, I was, I was called way too early. And like, there's nothing more annoying than that is having your call time be so early. And like, you're just sitting there wasting your fucking time. So she gets yeah. out on set and they're making her like redo like this scene. And then at one point she was just like over it. And she was just like, Pensatucky's dead y'all. And they rushed. Oh, first of all, two girls fr from the cast like ratted her out and they're like, Taryn's being really crazy today. Just be ready. Um, I think there's something wrong with her. So then she did that and they got her in like a black limo and took her to Pennsylvania and put her in a mental institution for like a while. And she's like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> well, reaction. if you meet five assholes every day, maybe it's not that everyone's an asshole. Like maybe she really did need to go to, well, this is and all according to her, but it's I believed it. She was just very she's a very Oh, I believe it happened, but I also believe like maybe there was reason for it. Maybe there's reasonable doubt, babe. Much like much like you say about OJ and Scott Peterson. Reasonable doubt. What about I don't think OJ had reasonable doubt, babe. Uh, okay. Um Okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. I think Pat also the character that the headspace that she had to live in on set as Pensatucky, I can't imagine that that's great for her mental health either because everyone else gets to be like cool and chill and she like has to actually be like crazy. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like, I can't imagine that that would be super fun. Um, She also first, her, so the first time she got canceled and she's not political at all. She's like, I grew up in a trailer. My mom always told me not to ever vote because then I'd be called for jury duty. So she's like, I just, she's like, I think politics is, crazy and on both sides but then she like put she retweeted it was that day that donald trump went to a church and like held up a bible upside down and she just retweeted it and like put like a funny uh logo and people okay. were just freaking out all everyone on oranges and the new uh, black unfriended her and she said that um and she's like yeah and then Lori petty she's like Lori petty's just always giving me unsolicited advice she's like she called me that night and she's telling me like we're having this great talk, and then she's like, "I'm just you need to take that down, Taryn. I just I got to tell you, like just just from my experience." And it's like, Lori Petty, you were in three things ever, <laughs> and you seem a little nuts too. So like, shut up. Yeah, go I away, don't Lori. Know. <laughs> I just I'm just saying something just interviews. tells me that maybe she's the common denominator in all these crazy situations. <laughs> I feel like that was a hot set to be on, though. Like that was a, a lot of um. It was it's a whole set of women. I was gonna say in <laughs> big personality too. Yeah, you know, big personalities. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, last my last thing is that I'm caught up on the Golden Bachelor. <sighs> okay, let's talk about this. I know these three. Oh, okay. God, well, first, okay, leave this up for a moment. Leave this up for a moment. Okay. Oh now. We have, I mean, God, okay, do I have to say this? Like, obviously, like, the two that stand out is, like, the smoke shows, okay? It's, like, the Annie and Christine of the Sister Wives, okay? And, and then there's Faith and Leslie. Yeah, and then there's, what is it? And Jerry. Or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Teresa's kind of annoying, right? She's I mean, can we all agree? Annoying. Her mouth is very large and just she looks she's got the crazy eyes sorry yeah it and it's the way she puts on her lipstick it's like 
a little bit lower here and then higher here. It's just like and it rubs off a lot throughout the day, so it's it's just that yeah. little wrinkly lipstick. I can't. Yeah. Stop her. <laughs> I, I, I'm with Grace here. I feel badly for her. Sure. She's probably very nice. Yes. Um, I think, I always want to call him Jerry. I think Gary, like, cares about her. And in a normal world, normal life, those two probably would hit it off and be very happy together. Yeah. However, but... he's got, like, that, like, passionate, lusty part for the other two, obviously, right? right. So that's who I said. She was my first pick from the get go. And she, from and she episode was one. The first, I said it, it's she was fate. The first one too. The first first girl to even get a rose, I think, in the first episode. Or I might be wrong. Oh. A lot of them kind of look alike. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, if Leslie was very, very set on not ever moving away or relocating from her horses and stuff. So. I think he was like, yeah. Anyway, um, I there's this guy I on TikTok. Think Leslie, like, I don't know. I think he like he cares about you. I just, I, I, it's faith. It's totally faith. And at the, yeah. oh, are we getting into like the uh, the final moment or no? Well, oh, I just want to show this TikTok okay. guy really quick. You know who I'm talking about? A skinny marinky dinky dink, skinny marinky do. Well, hello, beautiful. I was just thinking about you. Oh, good. He's so great. Wait, did I get his name? A skinny on dinky dink. His name is Mitch Wood. Mitch okay. Wood. So funny. It's the he does voice. A few of these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's great. He does his impressions of Gary. I just think you're a wonderful gal. Oh. Oh god. Okay, so when he was with um ew, when he was with Faith and her families, um and they're sitting there, and he's all like close talking. He's like, "Do you, do you want to say it? Do you want to say it?" I think I. And then they said, "I love I you to each other." It. Oh God, no! But they say, "I love you to each other," and then the whole family goes around and like hugs them and congratulates them for saying, "I love you." It is the weirdest. It, it, it was okay. very like. I'm glad oh, I didn't you that kiss then. her. You kiss her real good. <laughs> Yeah, so they right. say I love you to each other for the first time with in front of other like, people. Yeah, with like a grandma and like Nana's grandkids are all right there and they're all like, oh, do, uh -huh. do your Cody. It was everyone's doing your Cody face. Do it. Yeah, the, do your Cody. You got the same <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Also, all of the grandkids I was annoyed with. Like, oh, you God. Have an opinion, so bye bye. Ugh. Yeah, some of them were a little too precocious for their own good. Like, ugh, you're not that, not that cute. Okay, they're the writer, team moms of all I grandkids picked, everywhere. I picked someone who didn't have any grandkids at all. <laughs> like, so I don't have to deal with children ever again. I don't have to touch right. another children. How how um, close are the grandkids to your house? <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah so Teresa is out of there a bye bye Teresa. interesting i really thought that it would be that he's gonna pick Teresa, although they left it on oh. a cliffhanger but he picked I mean, leslie at the end of the first day, at the end of the day okay he's a man he's a man yeah you know <laughs> you got... Ooh, bachelor but... jerry sounds like warren jeffs oh my god oh you guys should watch this show and it's only like eight episodes or something it's like a very and they're short watch. they're like 45 minutes yeah they're just mm. clipping through this season right they're all, um, they're all so tired they can't film for, <laughs> for no. that long. Um, but i just feel like they had what's her what's her name leslie and then faith and then Teresa on the end and and, and, and Faith and Leslie were like, oh, hey, Teresa, good for you, you're here. Uh-huh. Come on, all of us three gals together. Like, they obviously you know she's going home. Oh, that's but, so sad. <laughs> Teresa's the only one that doesn't know because, like you said, she's kind of annoying and doesn't get the clue. Yeah, no, you're... You're right. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's it's uh, it doesn't air till Thursday. But I'm excited. I know, I know. It it, it really is. 
it sucked me in. But I think Teresa's going. I think Faith is going to get the final rose. However, again, like I said, long term, I really think Teresa and Gary are equally yoked. You know, yeah, like no, I think okay. they they work best for each other. Leslie, um, I think Ew, rumor definitely... is that Teresa wins. Michelle says no, no way. I, I mean, I think, again, I think they are equally yoked. I think they'd be in the end, they'd be happy with each other. I think Leslie would get, um, like, a little bit too, oh, I don't know, what am I looking for? Like, I feel like she's got more, um, like, trauma and stuff to deal with that, like, she oh, and yeah. Gary would never, like, really quite get on the right track. And I feel like... Faith would inevitably like want more like let's go travel or let's go do this like she seems a little bit more young or like active than him yeah, yeah. uh I I oh but like apparently like the NDAs for these women is not or these women are not is not very airtight because everyone's doing interviews now really? like I keep seeing interviews on TikTok of just like random like I feel like we could get one of them on our show although oh I don't God. ever want to interview an actual yeah show, no, like, I just don't. I just like lost all. Yeah. I can't imagine one single like even Christine. I wouldn't want to like or Janelle because what if she did some Girls. investigation? See how, how much we make fun Girls. of them. She's Girls. like, oh, she, you guys. So you have an entire segment where you just make fun of my Instagram pictures. <laughs> oh, I'd be terrified of Janelle. I'm. Oh no. Yeah. I. Oh fuck no. Except she's not very good at discipline. She'll just be like, boys, okay, just. Just stop. Just don't. Except when they got that bomb, like when they weren't going to let Gary go to Hawaii for his ROTC trip, like out of freaking nowhere because Garrison knocked him in the head. I think that behind, like once the cameras were off, Janelle would have been like, you're going to Hawaii. I already paid the deposit for it and then I'm not getting back. So you go yeah. into Hawaii. Yeah. Um, okay. So should we talk about uh, some Brown family values? Yes. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, and I, I made a new a new little, just, you know, I was just like to make each week my own, if there's anything. To, and make sure you watch it to the end. There might be a little okay. jump scare. But there you go. Joan just messaged me, happy belated Halloween. Okay. <laughs> don't even know how to make sense of that in my head, but okay. <laughs> we don't like, we're not like, okay. I guess I'll figure that out later. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> Didn't know where that was going, huh? <laughs> That last line was very um, Daphne. Oh, good one, guy. Good one, guy. <laughs> Robin. Can you describe it? Okay. I just want to look at some of the You know what we need to do? We need to put 511 on our calendars instead of the like 911, 511, because that's the date of the break dancing on that video. In 2000, what was it, 2008 or something? I think it's in 1998. Oh, 1998, of course. Of course. Which, and by she, the way, I feel like that was the date I graduated high school. Which would cool. track. Um, well, can we watch it one more time, are you, please? Are you going to say that's because Robin might have graduated at the same time? Because Robin didn't graduate high school. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah, of course I'll play it again. Uh, okay. uh, and then afterward, we'll, we'll describe what's going on here. Robin's all over this thing. <laughs> I audibly laugh every time I hear the slide whistle. <laughs> like, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I was trying to find a. Oh no! I like I like a slide whistle. <laughs> yeah. Well, because now I'm paying fifteen dollars a month for Canva Pro, so oh my I can God, use all, I love it. Now, all the sounds. Um. So describe. Oh. If you want to break down what for anyone who's just listening. I don't know why you would just listen, but can you break down the two slides there? Well, it's Robin taking her normal right. 
um, in the Brown family woods. And then on the other side was, um, oh my God, why did I just blank out? Um, oh, uh, just her saying like, oh, Cody, I'm a diesel jeans model. That was just a and sticker. Then, that, was, that wasn't even like a rock brown sticker. It looks exactly like her. I thought you made that. Wow. <laughs> you think I made that? I can't make shit like well, that. Okay. Well, Okay. Anyway, uh, Jody just left. But uh, on the second slide, it's a smash cut, a jump scare, if you will, to Robin breakdancing. And it just says, thank God. And it just says, okay, Cody, with an eye roll emoji next to it. Did you kick me out? No, I thought you got mad at me for saying I can't I can't do, uh, do art. The worst art of all the art. Running over Robin Brown sticker. I thought you kicked me yeah. out. No, I didn't touch anything. You just left. I didn't touch anything either. Oh, here we go. We're, we're going to get an, an email in six days like last time. That's like, it's Gage from StreamYard. Sorry about that. Like, oopsie okay. the other day when you couldn't uh, use your microphone or camera. Yeah. When you were going live. I thought you were going to say, Jesus. we're going to get, an email. we're going to get like some shitty comment complaining about all the oh, tech probably. problems, but it'll somehow still be my fault, even though I haven't had a single tech problem. Yeah. Um, Sorry, okay. blame it on me. Let's talk about a couple things here. Um, we'll end with Cody's uh, with Cody's interview. Really quickly, uh, oh, Cody interview, I already talked about that, so done. Uh, there was a sneak peek, that, sneak peek that came out today. Uh, I think you sent it to me in, this morning, uh, and it's on Mrs. Kickstand's TikTok. And, and I'm sure it's on uh, like Danielle's and everything, but it's a sneak peek or it wasn't even a sneak peek. No, no, no. It was a, um, like a not seen footage, a cut scene. Yeah. yeah. And it's just them like, it, okay. It's, it's more footage of Truly's birthday party. And it looks like hell. saddest thing on earth. Yeah. Oh my God. It, it was the, the tension energy of that. it was worse than what we saw the the way tension in the air was way thicker than what we saw in that episode no one was talking it, and it's just no the joy house just so like you'd think it wouldn't be so echoey in that house like it's like a tomb because there's so yep. much shit to soak up the noise yet it still ah. sounds like they're in a cave and all you can yeah. hear is just like clink 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 and, and like the Cody lights made. are on but it's still dark yeah was and they're depressing. all just kind of hanging and they eat around standing around the they're all just eating standing around this island well there's really there's some table. really fun things to put on the potatoes that's why they're all that's what robin, robin's fun. like okay we just got some got some fun stuff for the potatoes and then you can just hear cody being like ariola uh, uh you're gonna you need to eat everything okay and before you get dessert and it's just that and but like echoey and then truly is just like okay Ariola is just like mm -hmm. walking around rogue, even though she's like no, she she was she was whining. She's like mm, 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 mm. she was whining, and that's why Robin's How much like. Do you want to fucking some really, bet some really fun things? So, oh, potatoes, Cody. Uh, how much you want to bet that her, at least her, but probably her and Solomon got their own cakes and presents? Oh, they they got something afterwards. I think what happened was truly is probably like I like baked potatoes and chicken, I guess. Um, and there that was the fun thing, a baked potato bar, which didn't even look that crazy. Like Christine's salad bar that she made, like that was a yeah. salad bar. This yeah. thing was stupid. And I think Ariola <laughs> didn't want that or like doesn't like it. So she was kind of like whining, like, oh, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure once Truly and Isabel went home, they like ran through a McDonald's, you know. Oh, Happy that girl lives on chicken like nuggets that. and fries, and that's mm -hmm. it. Dino nuggets. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then Solomon, Which, what do you think? There's a recall. That's weird. You said that. I got a recall alert about that. About Dino fries. Dino, dino shaped Dino nuggets. There, there's a big recall oh. on that. Yep. Uh, yeah. And what do you think Solomon like eats? I think he just eats like, like, who's that guy in uh, Seeking Sister? Colton. 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 Um, yeah. I feel like he like, uh, Saul likes Winder. Porridge. Winder. Winder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Saul just, likes um, porridge and, you know, vanilla I'll ice cream. I'll just have some, uh, some cauliflower with my, my favorite dessert, angel food cake. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a really fun party. A nice tall glass of milk on the side. Can you pass the milk? Oh, that, that poor woman that came over with the sandals. Oh. And, and, the, and the baseball cap in there. <laughs> They and they had a, they had an issue a statement on Instagram about oh, how she has thin yeah. hair, so she asked in advance if she could wear a baseball cap in their house. Oh, all right. And the um, was like, so how's the, how's the weather in um, Northern Virginia? Yeah. Or it could be <laughs> different way. weather on the other side of the mountain. Um, really. Oh, I, I wanted to say this really quickly. I was listening to Kara Berry, uh, her episode last week on everyone's business but mine, and I just wrote this down because I burst out laughing so hard because she was talking about the scene oh, where yeah, Cody yeah. Was, was grilling the chicken breast on the grill, and of course, everyone's comparing it to like this guy just cannot grill, and Kara yeah. just laughed. She goes, "Cody is a grilling ass bitch," except she probably. <laughs> I was like grilling ass bitch. Uh, but she's so she, funny. I love her. Hilarious. And she'll be oh, on our extravaganza. Um, Kelly from our Facebook group posted this. And I feel like this is breaking, breaking chews, if you will. Um, ah. Doughboys. Um, it's a oh, please say that I actually did. Oh, I'm looking at the videos. That's why. Mm, is it this? Yes. Okay. She wrote, I was snooping around and found that Christine had this had this 50th birthday party closer to her actual birthday, wondering why a month later she had to do like another one because they did like this 50s theme. Oh, you didn't even see this yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, you haven't seen this episode, I forgot. So she goes, why not film this? Why not film this one? Did anybody see this on the show? So we're gonna see her do have a birthday. It's like 50s themes and you've, you've seen pictures of it. They're all in like polka dots or whatever. Okay. Um, she actually had another one beforehand where it was like it well huh. janelle posted this um oh, thanks that christine brown for, she, she kind of talks like colton too for uh yeah. inviting some at your 50th birthday party slash 1920s murder mystery party what a blast and yes like you i'm addicted to these so much fun let's do it again soon i mean well thanks for that janelle timely <laughs> Um, if we didn't get footage of this. I would have loved to see all of these people. Yeah, like do a. That is weird. Yeah. Oh right, is that McKelty in a top hat? Oh, is she, is she wearing a top? Hat? It looks like it from this distance, doesn't it? No, no, it, it's her hair with like a feather band. Oh, like a band. okay, okay. It does look like. A I top mean, hat. there was a 50-50 chance that she was wearing a top hat because, as we all know, oh yeah, I think better she chances. She ruined than that. the photos. From the Brown family mission statement party <laughs> with that stupid hat. Um, so the hair is going up. Right. Oh Looking my wild. goodness. Okay, someone is asking, did you see the bonus scene where Robin tries yes, to was, catch 11 yes, year old Saul you. coming down? No, I did not see this. Okay, it's no. the scene where like they're having all that fun at Mary's house, but they cut out this like this little section where Robin is. Acting like a fucking psychotic bitch about the kid. About so, she's like talking about like she has this talking head where she's like, Ariana is just really um she's really oh no she's saying that Solomon's really athletic and at this point he is eleven like as this is being filmed I am ninety nine percent sure and she's like Solomon's just really athletic and um so I think at one point you know I'm thinking about getting into some sports at some point he's eleven. It's, I'm like the ship is close to being ship passed. Ship has sailed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, come on, eleven. Like, Bieber, I feel like Justin whatever, Bieber was like, selling out Madison Square Garden at yeah. eleven, and Saul's just thinking about maybe throwing a, some ball outside. That's, and and also, okay, but then oh, and then she's talking about like, well, Ari is just you know a tank, and she she has no fear. And then they go to this tire swing, and Mary's like, "Better be careful, Ariola. Uh, there's probably snakes in that tire swing." And Ari just keeps running, and, and you can hear Robin behind her going, "Oh no!" And Mary was clearly just trolling her. Mary's like, "I don't know. I haven't I haven't looked in the tire swing, but I mean, why wouldn't a snake be?" But to there? Mary putting perfect. snakes in the tire swing before Robin shows. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so but then Saul goes to the top of this literal baby slide rubber. Like, you've seen Mary's like playground, set, yeah. Has like, oh, I know three. exactly. Yep, so 
Aurora goes to the bottom of the slide and Saul's at the top. And Aurora like kind of rolls the basketball up to Saul and immediately Robin's in there. And she's like, no way, I don't think this is a good idea. And then it, and then Saul and then Saul just slides down the slide with his ball. With the ball. He kind of pushes the ball in front. Like, what did you think could possibly happen wrong there, Robin? He's uh, he's eleven. Calm down. Oh and then people God. in our comments were like, we're like, I don't know how athletic Saul is when he can't even like catch himself going off the yeah. slide because Saul goes off the slide and then he lands right on his ass on the ground. It's like he hmm, can't go he on a baby ass. slide because it's like he's yeah. too old for it too. Like <laughs> well, maybe that was her concern. This is hilarious. God, Saul Robin. wants to try out. Saul wants to try out for T ball. Yeah. yeah. God, like, I mean, oh, on. good, good, God. Could you imagine Robin at like a, a baseball league tryout? Like well, that football? is some serious, like fast speed pitch. <laughs> she, she throw her body in front <laughs> of that thing. She would pass it out. She would, she, I mean, she would freak out. Uh, so like, anyway, that's. He's at him, Cody. I didn't tell the ass. Jesus. Jesus. But anyway, I'm wondering why they did, why she did this weird thing second party people were saying that it's because she wants she needed to have a separate one for Gwendolyn and for Peyton because Peyton's in the episode one wasn't at that one but like again Gwendolyn like Ariana if you need to get over it like, yeah grow. you need to yeah we all have stuff whether it's your parents your siblings whatever growing up yeah and you don't have to interact with them you you could go to it to support the other people in your life yeah. And just uh, not now, interact. Before we get into the Cody thing, of which I have a clip of and a picture, you know, pit crackers, pictures. Um, I granola. Uh, granola. Do you want to stay? Do you just want to stay a little bit? Uh somebody went, took their wife to his name is Dan, <gasps> and he took his wife to um to Lizzie's Heritage Inn, like he he got this for her for like this an early Christmas present or something, and uh, I was like, well, you yeah, please uh, like please uh, tell us what's going on. So I emailed him because then I got like I was like, oh damn, he must have gone. So I messaged and I was like, I don't know if you even remember messaging us, but like, can you like please tell us like what happened? And um, he wrote this entire email. And it was, I don't, and I, it's from him and her. Her name is, um, oh my God, this is long, but worth it. We'll, 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 we'll get to it. Um, they, they wrote, I think they wrote this together, but he went into a lot of detail and I've reread it a couple of times. And I think all of this is very interesting and it's a very well-worded um, email. So. Oh, I'm psyched. And then I also have some pictures at the end, some pictures. All right. Uh, he says, it was a lot of fun. It was actually a lot of fun. First, we weren't expecting to actually meet Mary. We thought they would have someone else do the tour. We rang the doorbell and just Jen opened the door and came out on the porch, followed by Mary a few moments later. They were dressed up in black witches costumes. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, there ended up being six of us on the tour, three wives in their mid forties, accompanied by their husbands, which that sounds perfect. Like that, but isn't that exactly who would have gone to that? Y yes, absolutely. Yes. Dragging their but husband. I'm like, oh god. It's also like it's it's a little enough amount of people for it to be slightly uncomfortable. Like uh, giving the tour. Kind of I don't like any of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we have been through Winchester Mystery House and felt like it was very similar. All the furniture in the house is pioneer era, so the armless couch is not present. Because I did, that's one thing I asked. I'm like, let us know if you see the armless couch. That's not there. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> we don't think any of the furniture in the house came from Flagstaff or Las Vegas. A lot of it came with the house when she bought it, and then she added some items that her family had kept. We aren't really sure if Mary does all the tours, maybe only when she is in town. There is an old piano in the front room. We asked if it was from her family. She said no, that Cody bought it for her in Wyoming. Then she said, but I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it, and it really fits in the house. So a little shade throwing at Cody there. Okay. Um, seemed like a subtle, oh, seemed like a subtle little dig at Cody and a clear but maybe intentional indication that they are done. Mm. The tour specifically was about the history of the house and her family members that have lived there. 
five generations of Mary's family have lived in that house. Although I guess technically Mary doesn't live there. One of the couples on the tour asked her if she really lived there. And she said, I'm all over the place, which is such a, I kind of like that. It's like just a, yeah, I'm all over the place. It's just, I'm not really answering it. Yeah. Uh, she listed several places, Arizona, Salt Lake, Parowan, California, and New York. Mary, you don't live in New York, honey. Yeah, let's cut it let's... off here. Yeah. <laughs> London, Milan, Paris, <laughs> and Parowan. Saint Tropez. I believe uh -huh. Arizona Salt Lake and Parowan. Um, it was obviously it was obvious that she didn't want to reveal where she actually lives, but she doesn't seem to live in Parowan. Jen lives mm. in the house, and Mary told a story. <laughs> Listen to this story. Oh God. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> One time, Mary was coming into Parowan, and Jen told her, well, you can sleep on my couch if you want. <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> Mary's it's, it's Mary's not Jen's. It's not Jen's couch. It's Mary's house. <laughs> oh, those two girls. <laughs> also, Jen was way more knowledgeable. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was good. That's a Jen good was one. Way more <laughs> Jen was way more knowledgeable about the town than Mary was. Mary could only really tell us about the house and her family. Jen told us stories about the town where it got its name. Oh, riveting, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> where the old pioneer fort was located. And Mary was like, oh, I never knew that. That's so interesting. It's like, is this like your fourth tour of like the day? <laughs> is this the beginning of waiting for Guffman when they're planning their celebration for the city of Blaine? And the guy's like, this is a stool. And, you know, uh, McKinley oh, you came know that, here. You know what I was just about to sing? Stool boom. Stool boom. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I could sing the whole musical. Strike it. Right now. Go strike it. We've done a lot strike of shows it. with Corky. So we know all the lingo. Uh, there, I never knew that. That's so interesting. There were a few oh. ghost stories about visitors that felt a presence that they would later claim uh -oh. was one of Mary's ancestors. We started out in the East Room, which is the room that, this is like the biggest room of the house and the only one on the bottom floor, which is okay. the room that Cody had the audacity to request to be to kept for himself and not rented out. I, I remember when that happened because Cody goes there. I think that, I think he spends the night there one time and he's like, Mary, like, can we have that room for me? I loved, I loved sleeping there. And he's like, can you just have that as like my room? Of course, the the biggest wow. room. He's like a housewife going on a vacation. Um, <laughs> there, Ramona. Yeah, it's Ramona. There are three more rooms upstairs where her grandmother and great grandparents had lived. Their whole house was decorated in a Halloween theme with fake cobwebs on picture frames oh. and skeletons hanging out on the furniture. Oh, we oh. even saw Mary's boyfriend. Bob. <laughs> he's a skeleton. He's a skeleton. He, was, he made an appearance. I need one of my old boyfriends. <laughs> and it old. <laughs> He's looking a little thin. <laughs> yeah, there's one oh. more paragraph. Uh, okay. <clears throat> there were a few. Go oh, oh, sorry. I got that. Uh, Mary took us on the tour while Jen waited downstairs, which I find that kind of weird, but I feel like there's no room. <laughs> so it's like not, I don't pass it upstairs as five people. <laughs> okay, this comment is cracking me up, and maybe my my edible is kicking in. The <laughs> I'll I'll laugh I'd at it. It'd be so rude. I'd be like, "Which room did your mom die in?" Because your mom did die there. Oh, okay. Funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'll enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, Jen and Mary were not as giggly as they are in their live streams, but they were joking around a lot. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> the cut-ups. Um, it, it would kill them if they weren't laughing all the time. They can't kill not be funny, boy. those two. By the way, a lot of Mary and Jen uh, material in this episode are about to watch. And now I'm just oh, here well, for it. I'm in I get for so it. excited. Yeah. Um, Auntie Krista, yes, I did just say, I think my edible's kicking in. <laughs> Um, this next one kind of gave me a little shock because I wonder if, she, if uh, she's uh, referencing my question in the live last in their Fridays with Friends. He said they wanted to stress that there was nothing but water in their cups. Mm. I asked, "What's your cocktail mm. of choice?" I wasn't asking what's currently in your cups. I want to know. Yeah. Without yeah. what disgusting cocktail are you both getting? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they, uh, Sambuca they had some of and orange juice. Oh, that's <laughs> the most fucking drink. 
<laughs> we also had some mm. of Mary's famous Rice Krispie treats shaped like pumpkins, Jody. What? Ew, that means <laughs> she oh, like was warming them up and forming them with her hands. Ew. Her hands. <laughs> Ew. No, well, let's give her some. They I'm, they make like cookie cutters. Yeah. So so mm. let's hope to God that that's what it's she's be. her fingies are all over that. Please. Mary's Mary's not doing things. She's whipping those things around in her hands. She's throwing them all over the place. Um, okay, they were actually pretty good as far as Rice Krispie treats go. While we were talking, some random people were wandering around outside. They eventually rang the doorbell, and Jen went out to talk to them. Before Jen opened the door, Mary stepped out of the front room and into the dining room out of the view of the front door. She gave the group an odd look when she did. I think that might be just her face. And, well, and she was doing the weird thing in all the pictures too, where she's like, like she was doing like a yeah. Well, I have a, I have a picture here of oh, that. Um, she gave the group an odd look. It was obvious that she didn't want to be seen by randos at the door. I think maybe she doesn't like people to know when she's in town. While Jen came back inside, she told us that kind of thing was pretty normal. There are frequently strange people walking around the property and looking in windows. That's psychotic. I okay, I would, that's like, enough. That's I would enough. never go. And, yeah, yeah, I would not go. Oh, God, no. Although me and Brad did go look in the window at the house that Bob Crane died. <laughs> we, like, he found the exact apartment in the complex. We walked right up to it. Um, they're frequently strange. They do not appreciate that at all. Jen told us that when she first moved into the house, she was always packing. So, like, she always had a G-U-N. Okay, I don't like that, babe. I guess she's kind of Mary's bodyguard as well. Mary and Jen are very good natured. They were easy to talk to and very friendly. At the beginning of the tour, Mary immediately said she assumed we were all there because we watched the show. While it was clear she wasn't going to answer questions about the show, not that any of us asked anything, acknowledging that helped lessen the awkward nature of the event. I, I would agree with that. She's like, look, the, okay. the pink elephant in the room here is that I'm on Sister Wives and you all probably watch it. Imagine um, <clears throat> if we just ran into Mary... I, she seems safe to talk to. No. Okay, I was going to say the complete polar opposite. I was going to say Christine was right. She does bring an energy into a room. I feel like she's a very intimidating presence. Yeah, but I think that that was that was also during like the catfish thing. So she was going through it. Oh, I like, think, I think, she, Mary's no, I think she always. You think? I think she's much happier. Now. Well, I mean, she does, like, she laughs a lot. Jesus. Um, we aren't really fans yeah. of Mary, but oh, so we went out of morbid morbid curiosity. We aren't really fan of Mary's fans of Mary's, but we did leave feeling a little more sympathetic toward her. We have no doubt that we would not feel the same way if we were ever to meet Cody and Robin. <clears throat> I hope this was interesting. I've attached some photos of us with Mary and Jen. <sighs> we like the pics where Mary's hair is a little bit out of control. Damn it, I didn't <laughs> I didn't post that one because I thought it was me. Okay. But yeah, there's one picture where her hair is like Bleh. Like blowing oh, the breeze. Oh. Um, finally, added a photo of the piano in the front room. That's from Dan and his beautiful wife, Kim. Very cute couple. Um, here's here's some pics that I have here. Here's the the group pic of them all outside. Ooh. Oh, Jen's doing oh, that thing that where you so like cute. suck in your neck so that your neck looks thinner. Oh yeah, and like yeah, look at my. Oh my god, we have to. I know. Listeners. Good email. Look like, how cute. Yeah. And when, did you see oh, spooky okay. ghosts hanging from the the the, the roof there? Jen? Oh yeah. Mary's definitely trying to like hit an angle. Like she thinks she has a good side. <laughs> oh no. Because everyone else is looking straight, and for some reason she's just like, Leia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, um, here's the foyer of Lizzie's house. Oh. She's got some teeny oh. tiny little. Is available for everyone. I don't know what this. I, the, this must be where the rice krispies nice. used to be. And then here's the. And they said uh, this is the room also where they like hang all the. Uh, oh yeah, there's a picture. Oh, there's a picture of the dining room. Oh, did I read all this? Where they hang the picture of four generations. Oh, anyway, ah. that's what that was. Uh, and then here is the, the piano. Ooh. Ooh, cute. There's a ghost. That's the Cody piano. Yeah. Cody wow. bought that for her, meaning Janelle bought it for her. 
Right. She's been right. tracking that thing ever since Wyoming. But this is a good place for it. Like, yeah, it perfect. actually does fit very nicely right there. Yeah. So oh, I thought man. that was good. And then he, they sent another quick one right afterward. Oh, we forgot to say. Mm. Oh, we forgot to mention, uh, Mary said that the Halloween tours have been pretty well received. So they are going to do Christmas tours. As well. <gasps> okay, so who's going to be Mrs. Claus? Who's going to be Mr. Or one of them's going to be, wait, hold on. It'll be Mrs. Claus wives. Mrs. Sister Claus. <laughs> No, no. Jen's gonna oh. be Mrs. Claus. Mary's gonna be the head elf. You know who Santa is? Bob. Oh, Jen's... oh Bob! They gotta incorporate Bob. I was gonna say Jen's husband, but I don't know how charismatic that guy is for being on a house tour. Oh my god! Um, what are you doing? Yeah. Thank you. We're it's gonna close be, to being it's gonna be like an ongoing chuckle. Yep. Yeah. Um, anyway, I thought that was interesting. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dan and I, I want like a yeah thank you um, yeah. I want like a Jen on the shelf or a Mary on the shelf yep Bob with the Santa hat we're all there yeah you don't even need to go all out with Bob just throw a Santa hat or an elf hat something like that um, yeah no I can see no. Mary I see Mary in like an elf like green sleeves and like red striped stockings yeah, like, those I big can picture shoes. her in that yeah those jingly shoes Again, it might be my edible kicking in because I took a little bit stronger one than I'm used to. No, I mean, I, I have like the worst like, like I'm getting powder. flushed. Ooh, okay. Sorry, guys. Well, that was me right at the top of the episode. So I'm glad you're finally joining me in this mental state. Both your spot, Walter, and you didn't even eat your fucking thing. Your okay. I don't know what you're doing, but fine. Um, let's get into Cody's interview. Finally, the moment we oh, okay. all okay, yeah. Um now, Casey, was this Casey again? Oh, no, this is somebody regular in our group. I just, I I, I scribble out last names just because I don't know if yeah. people want their last names on there. But um, R dot something something, very regular uh, person on the group. So you all know who this person is. But they posted this of um, Waldorf and Sadler. Is that their name from Muppets? Oh, no idea. I didn't know they had names. I thought they were just like the old guys. Oh. But okay, but it's just a picture of like the two guys that did the interview above them. And they were just frowning at Cody the entire time, especially this guy, Radio Free Mormon. Uh, okay. The entire time, Cody, those guys said nothing. They just let Cody run. And the entire time, that one guy was just like, and Cody would uh -huh. say something and he'd go, like he was just, and I'm like, do you know that he can see you? Because I feel like. And where Cody's like, well, you, do you guys watch this whole show? Do you watch all the seasons? Watch all the seasons, and then I'll give you the real scoop. They're like, you really think these guys like are you, uh, typical Cody? They're friends, yeah. right? Oh. Just like therapist oh. Nancy, therapist Pat, friends. I can go visit you my friend. Um, <laughs> I I didn't okay. I didn't rewatch this because I was busy watching the Taryn Manning thing. The thought of rewatching it, I'm like, I can't, because there were a few like really crazy things that Cody said, like, uh, like his sister is disloyal to him because she only saw one scene ever of the show, and it was the it was the knife in the kidney scene, and his sister's she got mad at me, and then she's just disloyal because that's the, she never even watched the show. It's like, oh my god, you need to stop with the fucking loyalty. She's wow. not your wife. She's your fucking sister. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what I want to listen, Kate, uh, Kate and Aislinn did it. Caitlin and Ace <laughs> <sighs> did a like a full recap of it on their Friday episode, so they okay. really go through it. And also, pop therapist, pop psychic, pop psych, pop psych. Pop Pop Psych. Yeah, Pop Psych on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that guy. I think our stuff is kicking in at the same time. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's no, like this... really kicking in right now, and I'm like full it's on. I have the giggles. <laughs> okay. It's like a sneak so, peek to our 420. Pop Therapist <laughs> or Pop Psych on YouTube. He broke it down, too, and he showed, like, okay. clips of, like, his favorite moments and, like, how Ooh. egregious everything is. And he really gives a full description. But is there anything you remember specifically from this interview? Um, 
<laughs> You're asking me this right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just going off. Well, he said something about. Do you want to know what I just had in my mind right there for a what? second, where the two Muppet guys just talking to each other, and then you just said my name, and I was like, "What?" Oh, when I said Jody, okay, I'll, I'll leave. Okay. This. Um, okay. He, okay, so he said something about the like eternal loneliness or the sacred loneliness oh sacred and, loneliness yeah, yeah 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 and then the two guys were like so, okay he's like well that's what the women sign up for the sacred loneliness and the two guys are like are you um do you feel like you as a man like this is so tough for you cody uh do you feel like you also feel the sacred loneliness and cody's like yeah definitely and then he kind of corrects himself and he's like well i guess technically no i, I guess i it's impossible for me to because i I'm, I'm busy focusing my entire life on making all these women happy and then he goes on to say something like well these women and that um that some that a therapist told him don't work you shouldn't let them leave cody because there's nothing that would ever tell you that they're going to be happier outside and they signed up for this so right that's it and he of course right. believes that it's like well they're i can't imagine that they will so um also, and Cody just, I mean, it's all just rambling because he'll say something, then he'll just go, you know what I mean? And then the guys are just like, and then Cody just keeps talking and he's just talking yeah. and talking and talking and just saying uh, words, like more many words. And he'll say a word like hysteremy or something like that. Like polygamy is also, I don't think that was the word, but it's some, some bible word. And okay. both men were like, okay you can tell they were trying to be polite and like let him talk that's the best thing like, you can do though is just let him go totally just that's let him suki, keep talking suki on the tell-all should just go uh-huh i, I oh. think I, i've told the story before when uh, back in the day we were interviewing and this guy came in and just the first question was so just tell us a little bit about yourself it was like the yeah. first of 24 qu like standard questions and he answered and just talked the entire time. Like there was no, and so no we just all, just all of us just let him go. Just let him go with it. Um, yeah, you just gotta give it give it over to them. Uh, oh, now, oh God, sorry. I think I just hit something. Anyway, um, no, I was gonna say two things that did stand out. One, of course, the honeymoon thing where he's like, "Oh, I went on a honeymoon with." Uh, with Robin, but all my wives got that. Like, oh, oh that that was another no one. They I didn't. was like, what? Uh, also, in the chat, um, I got in there like right at the very beginning, and I put a couple comments in there, and none of them were like they were just like Cody has a small penis. That was one of them. <laughs> but that was one right at the beginning when there weren't that many people, so Cody was reading the chat. <gasps> I'm like, I just want you to know that we all think you have a small penis. Yeah, yeah. hypergamy is the word. But then someone saying that oh, is not sorry. a Bible word. What does it mean? That's something Cody freaking. <laughs> the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of a superior sociological or Ew. background so much more egregious than I thought it was. What else? Oh, I so Cody's that. education is up here, would you say? And but all your Robin? dumb women. Robbins is like. I couldn't even like oh. the line went too long. I had to like mm -hmm. take a piece of string and attach it to the bottom. Um, <laughs> he he thinks that he's socially that is it. That word shouldn't even exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the both men were like, okay, now now let's talk. Well, I was gonna you. say that, and then also kind of what I referenced earlier when he told the guys like go back and watch this show from season one, <laughs> as if anyone's gonna have time to re watch Who all the that? A lot of times no idea. Losers. Um, they also show how narcissistic he is. Because I asked this to you yesterday on our episode. Like, why would he agree to do that? To do this interview? What did he think was going to happen? And you're like, because he's a fucking because narcissist. Because he's a narcissist. Why? Even when the me. facts are right there saying, we all know you're stupid. Like, you know, your game is over. He's a narcissist. He thinks that he can convince people. But he said, like, oh, go back and rewatch all these episodes. And you tell me. If you think that Robin did anything wrong, well, but yeah, that's right. He did say that. But do you think? But Robin, I think, knows how. Oh my God, I'm doing some weird shit with my hair here. Robin knows how create, like how everyone hates her. Like, so she. I don't think she's. I mean, everyone says that she's a narcissist too, but 
I don't think she would. But you know why that feeds her? That feeds her because then she could be like, oh, they all don't like me, Cody. And then she could be a victim. So it fits her perfectly. His narcissism, his like, you know, he's going to come in and be this knight in shining armor every weekend. Cody. Cody. (laughs) He loves that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I think, yeah, they're both, they're both (sighs) mentally unwell. Uh, But then, of course... Of course. Right. Um, Rob, okay. Right. Now we must, Rob, I don't know if I said this t- this earlier today. It was already two hours ago, so I don't even know what I said. But yeah. that Robin must be so mad at him for saying the diesel. He goes, look, here I am. I got a diesel jean model, 30 years old, which also is really old for a model. It's like you're making her sound like a busted model, which, I mean, not, I mean. He goes, I, here I am. And like, I mean, it was just great for my self-esteem. Like she, she had all these uh-huh. men who were proposing to her and she chose uh-huh. me. Well, not according to the book, because according to the book, uh, Reba, Reba yeah. took it to the Browns. You have to meet the yep. going, baby. So, uh, and also if she's not allowed to court, then how come she had all these men proposing to her? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. So it's all just lies. And ooh, it was Lizzie. And haunted ghost coming in here. Um, yeah, diesel jeans model. Now, people were jean, a boots on the ground jean. She thinks that he was just being like facetious, like he's saying, like, Oh, I have the supermodel, but then he's supposed to be a diesel. What? I, I do too. I think he was saying yeah. like, you know, like I have this like supermodel coming in here and like, why would I say no? Of course I'm going to feel good about myself. He would have got a lot less shit for it and if he hadn't specified diesel jeans because people are going hog wild with this now. Because Cody thinks diesel jeans were cool then and he still thinks they're cool. <laughs> like he thinks that's I a I honestly flex. didn't even know that still existed. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think they do. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like because us poors are wearing, you know, Old Navy or whatever to him. Like, you got to go to, I don't know, the nice Coles to get diesel jeans. I don't know where you get diesel jeans. I never had them. But they're cool I would never walk to him. A diesel store. Yeah, that is so funny. Um, uh, Jean says he's called Robin the supermodel wife before. But that's, like, that's fine because she was thin and tall. I mean, we know her legs exactly. are extra tall. But exactly. you said diesel jeans and it made it sound like you were saying that Robin was actually a diesel jean model and the whole world blew up. Like she must be so mad at him right now. Well, like either way, or I mean, but I could also see Robin spinning this tale of um, like she was at the mall and, and someone said like, oh, you look really good in those. And and so she, she did some modeling or she looked into yeah. it or someone told like her to she should be a model what her definition of model is but um yeah so and actually the in the book that we read in the book that we read uh don't remember her saying anything about modeling yeah it's weird it seems like she wouldn't mention that if it was you know true and didn't both of them say that Cody actually likes like curvier women? He doesn't like skinny women. That's right. So it wouldn't be that he was just like saying like, oh, I have this model over here because we know that that's not Cody's type. God. Now here's um, here's the last thing I'll address because this was my favorite part of what happened. And I mean, the chat blew up. I don't know if I'm allowed to play this, but I'm gonna. And it's when the uh, when they opened the phone lines for some callers. They took three. Um, oh, okay. I didn't even listen to the third one, but the first one was just, oh, hi, Cody. It just whatever. It was Robin. Okay. Um, <sighs> and of course, everyone's like, hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. That was a fake. That was a fake call. Um, uh... But then this other person comes in now. Ace and Caitlin on their episode, they said that this is one of their listeners. Corey and Carly also say it's one of their listeners. So this is clearly oh, like somebody okay. who list, like who's very okay. enwrapped in this. Got it. Us. But Kelp, yes. So this is, she comes in and she's like, hi, my name is Kelly. And also they're like, oh, the line is completely full. So like this bitch somehow got one of the three calls and she gets the nice, the sandwich, like right in the middle there. Okay. And she goes, uh, they're like they're going, they go what is your name and she goes well let's just watch let's just watch it but then she says oh she goes my name is kelly but then it kind of it kind of break like the internet's bad yeah so she, she ends up saying and then they're like kelp 
And she's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> her, her name is Kelly. Um, okay, so here I took a and and I also left in the live chat at the bottom, so it might be a little small, okay. but at least you'll be able to see how fast the chat is fucking scrolling during all of this. Cause she oh god. I hope like she must be I would be walking on air if I were her. Okay. Everyone's talking about her. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh let me just find it. And oh shoot, I'm in the wrong thing. Here we are. Out uh the, the TV show to talk about uh, living polygamy and to talk about your religious faith. And so I think we, we did that. All right. Uh, caller, you are on. What is the name? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. You're on the show. What's the name, caller? Uh, my name is Kelp. Oh, yes. Kelp? Um, I was... I was um, I was just wondering, you explained in the last episode how you thought a wife was disloyal if she kept her from her husband, but Robin does the same thing from her first husband. How do you explain that difference? Hmm. Robin never did that. Um, he had access to them all the time. My husband, he's dying so, of cancer. Do her kids know that? Um, her kids have chosen. Um, well, let's let's go this direction. I, this is one I'm going to have to pass on, guys, because yeah. this is oh. about somebody else and oh. somebody else's life. I'm not interested in answering that question. Thank you. No worries. I'll drop the call. Thank you. Yeah, no sweat. All right. And this will be the last call we've got. We, Julie, Julie, Julie. All right. So, I mean, just the chat. I saw Jean in there a couple times. I'm sure there was like a lot of us. I, th I think I saw Beaker Face possibly. Um, That's what people are saying. Like, there I am. <laughs> oh, I love that. The, I agree with these comments. The hand where he's like, oh, oh. Because it's very like, it, it's very fingers on the like. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah. Uh, oh. a, a man is talking. And, and then it, it, it was a smug hand. It was a, mm. Robin doesn't do that. I would, I would freaking smack that hand so hard. God. The fact that she even went into their daddy's father, her father's their father's dying of cancer. Do they know that? Do Cody they like, know oh. That? <laughs> oh, oh, the intonation oh, was perfect on the. Do they know that? I'm concerned. Do they? Know oh, that? I'm just so disgusted by this man, but I love it because he was so thrown off, and he, I bet he was he he was on for another you know 20, 30 minutes after that. I'm sure that he was barely even thinking about what he was saying. Anyway, because uh -huh. all he was thinking about was kelp and that whore. That woman embarrassed me. But sorry, mm -hmm. babe. I hope you went back and read the live chat too, because it was all just so and if there's fun. if there's nothing wrong with it then um like why don't you just answer the question oh my god they're dying of cancer do they know that god that was so good just threw him off his game i love it yeah um now are we i mean is anything else to say no Otherwise, i think we need to hop into this episode you have to good lord <laughs> yeah, um yeah. <laughs> We were doing really good for timing until we got into this. Uh, okay, and that rounds out uh, Brown Face. All right, so season 18, episode 12, Can't See the Forest. Christine throws a 1950s themed party for her 50th birthday and admits she's dating again. Cody checks out Janelle's new apartment but realizes she's planning a future without him. Mary worries about big changes in her life with both the B&B &B and Cody. Well, not so much, Cody, I'll tell you that. Uh, okay, keep your eye in the comments for anyone who's here for the first time. We're going to do an audio watch-along, and I'll try to give timestamps as best I can. We're going to start right at the uh, theme song, and it's uh, at 54 seconds exactly. And here we go. <laughs> Oh. 
Rock and roll time. So today we're having a 1950s themed 50th birthday wow. party. I'm five years old. Ah! Oh, you are so strong. Janelle, Savannah, Garrison, and Gabe are coming for my birthday. Janelle's sister and her husband and their kids are coming. All my kids that live here are coming. Isabel's in town. We have one food truck, and then we're having soda and shakes. Okay, table settings are like... Okay, so she goes table, uh, uh, sodas and shakes, but uh, you're going to spy in the corner at some point, uh, uh, like a full bar, like Ooh, next, like yes. next to it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Get it. Just say it on TV. You don't yeah. have to pretend like you don't know. Like, you're fine. All right. This. No, I don't feel I feel fantastic. I feel great. Aww, I love that. Okay, okay. Two minutes, we're out. We're done. We have to look beautiful. Oh, they're putting up a little step and repeat. I love people. I'm dating a bit. Just having fun. Just all very, just fun. Ask them to see. Okay, yeah. Oh, I mean, the Kelsey. Oh, ask them looks great. So I know Christine told us a couple months ago that she's been working with a matchmaker. Um, good. More power to you. I think Christine has been looking for a companion in her life. And Cody was not able mm. to give her that. And so I think now in this new life permutation, she's she wants to find a partner to do it with. Come to mama. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I am oh, do you see Tawny with Sampaku eyes on my exact pause? Uh, yes. I, I just want to let you know that everyone is very concerned that Wally needs to go to the bathroom because he's just standing outside the door staring at you. I guarantee you it's because I put, because his pig ear is right there and he for some reason doesn't want it on the thing. Come on. <laughs> deal with this. Go, go put it on his on his spotty because I know that's what you call it. Come on, sir. Do you want this? Come here. Come here. Come go to your spot. Come here. Go to your spot. Go. You have to call go it his spotty. Spot. Good boy. All right, he's back because I moved. The th now he's looking for it. Jesus Christ. You better lie down. <laughs> and he peed it's and really pooped. Cute, right you, guys are all, you guys are all like, oh my God, Walter. Lie down. Jesus. See, this is what happens. This is, no, you would be saying the same thing to me if Scout were standing there and then I'd be like, she's fine. It's, yeah. We're all concerned about other fine. people's pets, but when it's yeah. your own, you're like, no, they can live. He's, he's fine. Yeah. Lie down. Downies. Oh. Uh, he's wearing a little bow tie. All right. Um, let's talk about Tony okay. Tranny. What did he just have to wear today? Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I just went past. Um, oh, well, he has his. Oh, no. Does he have. Okay. He's got like a, a uh, Letterman jacket. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just stopped called? there for a second. I was thrown off by his shoes. I thought maybe they were Golden Goose, but I think they're Vans. Um, yes. Just it's a black black jeans and black shirts and you know, just a, a black Letterman coat. And just gonna pull my hair back so I look real flickers. I'm a greaser. <laughs> Honestly, he just cut his hair. My God. He's a grease, There's so much hair later. in that home between McKelty's hair and his all hair. The, all Ooh. the women. Yeah, Aspen, Gross. Christine. Aspen um, looks like a smoke show. She looks great. Yeah. I'm at 2.30. Now he's now he's eating his, his pig ear. I don't understand him. So excited for my party, but also McKelty has some very exciting news to share. I'm very oh. Oh, we already went through this last episode with the pretty much the exact same amount of people, but um, and there, there might be another announcement later. Excited about that too. Great. Hey, 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 you gotta show everybody, you know, you know, your thing, your thing, your secret. Show I don't have the thing your with secret. Me. I have it on my phone. No, I hate it. What just, what he just did. What did he just no, do? What did he just do? What did he just do, babe? He has a spoon I saw of like, thingy. God, I hope it's yogurt, but it's a spoon of white yogurt let's say and he took oh, his fingy gross. with the on it like icing or frosting maybe he puts it at Avalon's mouth and he's like trying to get it in there and then she doesn't want it so then he eats it <laughs> fucking disgusting that's like letting a dog share an ice cream cone with you sorry alright <laughs> it's just my opinion I think 
All right. All right. Uh, two minutes, 56 seconds. Okay. Here's my, here's my thingy. But I have something that makes my thingy cooler. That makes my thingy cooler. Because guess what? There's two. Uh, there's two. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. We were here last week. We know. Yeah. yeah. This exact same, like, fucking horse and pony show. God, no one really gives a shit in Kelty. <laughs> This is their job. Sorry. This is their job. They have to be here. They don't really care. They're identical and fraternal, and they are fraternal twins. They're not identical. They're going to be different. They're having twins. I don't feel like four arms is going to be enough. I'm here. You guys live like 20 minutes away from me. Mikhail and Tony are going to have... Well, not enough for you, Tony's a gamer. He he has both of his hands made to be I don't feel like four arms are going to be enough. Then get off your ass and help. I know. Kids up to the age of two. Oh my gosh. That, sounds that is important. so much work. But the, the doctors were like, oh, you're not supposed to be able to get pregnant while you're breastfeeding. And oh, you're not supposed to be able to get twins without some help. And what? Oh, I'm... It's fucking okay, when? I... The, the not doctor, a... I, do not... I guarantee, no, do... no, a doctor says like that is a, an old wives' tale that you can't get pregnant while you're breastfeeding. Yeah, Tony you brought it up to idiot. the doctor. <laughs> Do doctor said, oh, you can't have trends without help. No, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> you know how many surprises <laughs> twins are? Like how many people are surprised by having twins or triplets or something? This is... How many women are in this house right now that should just be flying into the room to knock them upside the head <laughs> after that comment? And not a one. And Christina McKelty are like, oh, God. well, a man's saying it, it must be right. Oh, uh, three minutes oh, and 38 God. seconds. Do all that. And we're like, uh, we just had sex. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Christ. It's like, your mother in law is standing right next to you. That is gross. Inappropriate. <gasps> Oh, gross. I really, and then it makes me oh, picture them having sex. Okay. Oh so, God. Wait, so, on Tony's side of the family, ew, no ew, and then she had to say, uh, "Way to Tony excel." Has these cool. that are twins, and my dad has brothers that are twins. So she just said, "So Cody's has nieces that are twins." I don't know if you remember, but Didn't last episode, there's Cody's... no family history of twins. Sure did. It's got to be on Cody's be or on a. Tony, and there are no, yeah. there are none, but there's some on Christine's side and on Cody's side. Oh, He's weird. so dumb. He doesn't know that his own niece, they probably don't, they're probably not loyal to him. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He probably doesn't talk to them. I'm at 3.55. Anyway, there are twins in the family. So Ron and Dad know right now that we're expecting twins. We told them actually first because um, I needed help. <laughs> uh, so Christine's like what? dying inside as she tells her that. Now this was She's a like, huge conversation. Oh, what? Oh, oh, that's great. Something. I actually told Robin first because I really needed help. Uh, bitch, I had six babies, including you, including your yeah. ass. Michael. This Robin she savior help. And no, this is, McKelty, this is this is McKelty just wanting to be attention getting. That's a mean she thing to say. She needed mom. attention at the moment and time, and Robin was there, and Robin is like, ugh. And they oh, both are weird you. like that. Okay, but why did she ugh. have to tell Christine that? That that could have gone to the grave. Yeah. yeah, look at Christine's face here. She's just like, oh, cool. Mm, oh, that's nice. oh, you, oh, Robin of all people, you that's mm. that's great. That's great. I yeah. love this relationship. Awesome. You utilize. Um, at yeah. four minutes, seven seconds. Oh, and I know that Kelly's Robin, a bitch. She's ha she had a lot of morning sickness, and my mom didn't. Oh, Robin, had oh, a no, I um, Chrissy probably did have some sort of <laughs> symptom at some uh, point in her six pregnancies, pregnant. yeah. But she didn't have a choice to just be like, oh, I'm just going to not go to therapy today because my, my tummy's upset. Sleep I'm just going to have some and I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> so I'm not really feeling that well. Because she was taking care of all, whatever, 14 kids right. at the time. And Robin had a nanny oh. at the time. Oh, I hate this. Because Robin up. had a lot of morning sickness, so I needed advice from someone. Also, you, you, you could even go to Janelle. Google. How old are you at this point? My God. Also, she already has baby Avalon. So why do you need help right. now? Or what about Calmation? She's had three kids. Sure. 
And then none of the other kids have. All the other older kids are like, fuck this. I don't like this either. Four minutes, 12 seconds. I hate McKelsey right now. Yeah. So I talked to Robin to basically like, what do I do? So they know. They they know. Um, I guess we were the first people that she told. And I just. I oh, mean, smug trying not to smile. Honored and like, I'm that glad she feels horrible. safe doing that. It's safe. Yeah, Robin, you're really. She looks awful. Place. Robin she looks, looks terrible. What is, is not a good hair? color on her? Look at her hair. It looks like she has Especially a wig cool. on. Why I hate how smug and happy dark. She's like, Ugh. oh, I guess, I guess apparently, uh, she, you know, she, she is growing people. ugly. I, I hate to say this about women, but like, she really is growing uglier by the oh, moment. I think we would all agree with that. She's every year. Exception to the rule. Uh, Four minutes, 30 seconds. And we we're just really excited for, her. you know, more grandbabies, you know, so. Yeah, that's yeah. all that matters, right? Is babies. Here's a picture yep. of Robin and McKelty Yikes. wearing matching little outfits. Yeah, gross. Kelsey has a relationship with Robin and Cody, and it's going to be like that for the rest for now. of their life. No, it won't. There's going to be things that she's yeah. going to tell Robin and Cody first, and there's going to be things that she tells me first. It doesn't matter how I feel personally towards Robin or towards Cody. That has no place here. It has nothing to do with me. This is Kelsey's story and Kelsey's life. I would love to see Robin's reaction to Aurora or Brianna or Dayton. Oh going to my God. Her. She would be livid. Oh, I hope. And Christine's like, does. I just have to get over it, I guess. Christine's a good mom. That's like a really good comment, just being like, listen, and a good this is her life and her thing. Yes. Yep. Oh, I forgot to do um, I forgot to do the Instagram pictures, but we'll just do that next week. I don't think there's anything amazing. Um, all right. So okay, tonight, so, yes. we're going to tell everybody. We're going to tell Janelle and her kids and everybody else that we're expecting twins. This will be perfect. because So McKelty can tell Janelle and my mom that she's pregnant with twins at my party, right? That's going to be perfect. I mean, come on. Well, That's amazing. Why can't she do that before? Janelle's going to be this so This is your mom's excited. party. I'll oh, Janelle and I care about our grandchildren. It's Get ready. In life, that's really what we want. Welcome to my party! Okay, so now here's Janelle, all her kids, and they're all like, all her boys, Peyton isn't, Peyton's wearing an army zip up, but Gabe and Garrison are both like dressed up like 50s guys. Garrison has oh. on, what are those called? What are those shoes called? Like saddle shoes? Oh, like the patent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm he's got little Gary. saddle shoes, and they, they, they like rolled up their button ups. They look cute. 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 Look That's so cute. And so Janelle's out here. Did and you like the welcome Janelle's to my party? Did you like that? Yeah, I just kind of had to shake that off. <laughs> um, Janelle's sister is also here, and she's wearing the exact same dress as yeah. McKelty. All right, here we go. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, there was no question. I wanted to be there. Oh. Fun oh. to celebrate with her. In this amazing new life she's got. And 50. I'm 53, but, you know, who's counting? Well, you look younger than Aww. you did in the first season, Janelle. You look yeah. fucking amazing. By the way, really quickly, I just want to show this Instagram picture from Janelle this week because it's my favorite. She went on a boat, as we know, a cruise oh, with, yeah. with Wooly and, and Christine for uh -huh. Plexus. And here's a picture of her in front of the boat, and it's everything you want it to be. Oh, greatest. <laughs> <laughs> she might as well be in the middle of Times Square and accidentally took a picture of herself. Like, the, the camera was that's like me. That's like me doing a... This show just be like, yeah. Like <laughs> because I love this show. I love the show. I love it. So 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 that makes funny. Me the devil. <laughs> she also took this picture of like the side of the boat, which is just I think what the rescue ships. Is Janelle? Taking edibles because, like, I feel like this is something. Like, wow, like, this is one for the gram. Yes. <laughs> All right. I mean, wait, uh, wait. I think this is when I text you. I'm like, wait till she sees the uh, the towel animals that housekeeping leaves. She is gonna, she's gonna lose her mind. Or lose her mind. <laughs> but it'll be like in bad lighting, and you can be, like the towel animals kind of oh, she, frame. She's keeping uh -huh. the towel art like alongside her little twin sized bed for the whole cruise. <laughs> I can love them. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's go back. I'm at 543. Janelle, that's perfect. 
She looks so good, you know. Oh, they hugged each other. That was sweet. And Janelle doesn't dress up. From if we can remember, she never participated in the flash mobs except for the one for McKelty, where she wanted to. Because she had some (laughs) self-respect. Like I may have lost all the money I made, but I'm not going to lose myself to this. But it just showed that she like she had all of her kids dress up, and she like went and bought a dress. And Savannah dressed up. Everybody dressed up. Oh, well, Aww. Kaden didn't. Annie. Smoke show. Annie. We got Annie. Her polka dots. She looks so cute. Oh my gosh. They look the same I age. I know. <laughs> the screaming. I want to tell you, I have this amazing full life here. It's beautiful. Oh, Janelle looks great in that green. Oh, she does. And not many people would. Hold on. Pay attention here. When we still lived in Flagstaff, they do criminalize plural marriage oh, in Utah. No, not right here. And as soon as I found out, I was instantly excited to move back to Utah. Instantly. Polygamy oh. got too criminalized. And oh God, it's like, I could literally say this entire conversation word for word. You don't need to show these flashbacks anymore. I right. wonder why we're still here. We can move back home. We can move back home. We can be by family again. We can be back home. I wonder if we would have moved back, what we would look like now. Huh. After where we would have settled. I wonder... And I would have stayed. And to be honest, I think it would have just prolonged me leaving. Mm-hmm. I really don't think that where we lived, whether it be Vegas or Flagstaff or in Utah, would have ever made a difference on our family and what has happened. You know, sometimes I think about our our decisions that we made in the past. Our decisions. It was your decision. And congrats on that fresh new yeah. hip you have on your chin, by the way. <laughs> And I think maybe if we wouldn't have moved to Flagstaff or maybe if we would have moved when Christine wanted to move to Utah or or we would have built faster out on the property, I wonder if we'd still be together. You know, the writing was... I, I answer to the question is, no, you would not be fucking together because you would still be there. It's you. Yeah, exactly. The wall, You're the problem. Who would really have some good judges in our family relationships? Cody's preference for Robin became even more pronounced during that time. I don't think anything would have been different. We just live in Utah. Everybody really, really quick. Of course, you guys see there's hamburgers and fries. Put in your order for what you would like. You guys can, like, help yourself. You can go in. There's places to sit down. And thank you for coming. Are we going to sing happy birthday now? I have a really, I have a really good, exciting gift for you. Yes. Like, I have something new that you're going to like a lot. Yes. Um, Yes, It's your daughter pregnant with twins. This is now a third announcement by McKelty. As before we sing happy birthday, I have a really great gift for you. It's your daughter pregnant with twins. I was. In fact, I am the gift. And this guy, this guy with Sampaku eyes, put it in me. We just had sex. That's all we did. Uh, Awful. You should actually sing happy birthday to my belly. That would be better. Way to make it everyone look like at me now. Infuriating, annoying, annoying. Like, she didn't need to do it in the house then. First, I don't mind her making this announcement, not at right. this time though, babe. Like yeah. later, but right, like you didn't need to do it in the house and now with a different group of people. No one, so cares now, like, that much about heard this stupid thing. babies. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I'm at eight minutes and 16 seconds. By the way, Janelle's on it. sister wears it better. Just for the record. Well, we have play. Uh, I will take that. No, I'm pregnant with twins. There's two of them right now. I'm pregnant with twins. Oh, Janelle. Like, I want a hug from Janelle. Janelle. I'm I'm from Janelle. From Janelle. <laughs> Truly was just in the background, like at the food truck. She's like, I'll get uh, two hot dogs and a hamburger and a soda, please. She's like, I've heard this bitch talk about these she twins is? three times now. <laughs> I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm at eight minutes thirty seconds. Surprised, and it's just everything. Like I just, I'm sure they didn't either expect it to be so soon. But come on, twins, twins! I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. Oh. And I'm crying a little bit. It's kind of 
sweet. She's no crying is um, so she, sweet. She, she's going to be a grandma to twins as well, so it's really fun and sweet. It's cute. And she doesn't cry a lot. No. So it's extra special. Okay, now I think I need to have a house here or something. Yeah, too. there you go. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Yeah, it's a fun party. It's cute. Like That's a cool idea to hire a food truck, too. I like that idea. Like it's uh, it expensive. seems like yeah i would totally do that save all the work but even for like two hours up. i can't imagine yeah. it that bad and it's like fun and it's just outside you can eat it's fun. sweet uh nine minutes eight Great seconds idea. this is aspen and mitch an actual <laughs> couple that i don't find annoying or disgusting or anything yeah. god she is so gorgeous Definitely yeah. a good time. What do you yeah. Think? yeah this is great for her Hey guys, we're gonna start going inside. I want to sit down to eat. You know, look, this is such a fun party theme, and she's completely decked it out inside. Like she's got all the stuff on the walls, and she's got a place to take pictures, and everybody's dressed up. In a way, this feels like a big declaration of independence. In a way, for this new Aww. life that she's got. We're like all. My God, McKelty, can you just go away? Yeah, exactly. This isn't your party. You've had enough, babe. We've heard it. And last oh, time oh, she tried to scream, Happy birthday! Like, she's Christine's singing. daughter. And the last time she was in charge of organizing something, it was the goodbye for Christine, and that went really well. So maybe oh, don't let yeah. McKelty plan for her. things. It was. Nine minutes, 44 seconds. A lot of people there. I like that. Tony and I and our kids were not invited to Christine's birthday party. Why the fuck? Why would, would you be? Cody and, the, and also I the and kids. kids were not invited. Did you invite uh, David Preston or whatever to your birthday party? <laughs> like right? what a dumb bit. Yeah. Does, does she Tony invite and it, her ex and his wife? And their children to your birthday party? I don't belong. No. Yet. Well, that, that's your kid's sibling. So why would they be there? Don't she really lady. thinks that the producer is going to be like, Whoa, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. In nine minutes, 53 seconds. That's so the most insane really thing I've ever heard. When we find out that the family is gathering and doing things. Good. It's for her birthday. Her and, wait, sorry. birthday. And yeah. for the record, um, you didn't want to gather for Christmas. They watched you and you said, no thanks, bye-bye. She sure did. So you I'm didn't invite you to come. Her. And she wouldn't let Mary invite them either. Remember? No, no, we shouldn't do that. So, so which way is it, you stupid bitch? God. And would they go? Are they going to make the drive down to... Is she in St. George oh, or is yeah. she in Salt Lake? Um... She's in Salt Lake, but I think McKelty's in St. Yeah, George. I think Salt Lake Maybe City. Yeah. Um, at 10 minutes, three seconds, Robin's got some mad beaker on um, in this uh, part. I think it would be great to have Robin's kids here because they should see their siblings. And Isabel would be so flippin' excited. She would love it. But this isn't just this isn't a place for a reunion like that anyway. Yeah. It is not. Yeah. Right? How awkward right. would this party be? Oh my god, Cody Why and Robin's would you costume. Invite your oh. ex. Your but ex what they and his wife to yeah. your birthday party very Insane. recent after your divorce. Yeah. Oh my god. But I would almost like to see it in a, in like a bizarro world what they're all what their costumes are. I'm sure Robin would spend like $300 on each costume from like like a costume shop or something. And it wouldn't, it would not get the era quite right. It wouldn't be 50s. It would be what Robin thinks is 50s, but it would be them dressed up as like hippies. Oh. We're all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'd all be all dressed right. like truly, basically. But yeah. okay, go ahead. I'm at 10 15. <laughs> so now with her sister not singing. I mean, you see that? I burst out laughing last night when just but she's like, yeah, it's nice. I love this. This is nice. But no, no everyone's, she draws the everyone's line. going, happy birthday. And they just get across the room and Janelle and her sister both of this. Yeah. Hmm. It's 
fun. Yeah, I am fun. I am fun. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're so good. But God bless her. Uh, okay, uh, I'm at uh, 10.25. Thank you so much for coming. So cute. God, they all Look, scream. I can't tell you what I wish for, but it has something to do with being in a romantic relationship again. Um, <laughs> getting that D. Because it won't come true. So we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, there's two cakes. There's two cakes. McKelty made them both from scratch. Of course. She's ridiculously perfect. Um, uh, this one is heavily alcoholed. This one is not alcoholed at all. McKelty is so annoying. And also, it doesn't matter how much alcohol you put in something that you're baking, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, and then she goes, uh, they're both chocolate. This is what I think happened. She made both of those thinking that that would be, Scout's losing it, sorry. Uh, okay, cool. Um, she made both of them thinking that this could be like when she announces she's pregnant. Like this one's heavily alcohol. This one's not. Oh, because I'm pregnant with twins. But they did it sooner. Yeah, she just, she it's got absolutely she got to ahead of a reason why she did that. Oh, that makes sense. <sighs> both cakes, not that great. Yeah, and one's a cake and one looks like it's like a trifle in a dish or something. Yeah, like a like a like it didn't set, so it's kind of like a tiramisu. But uh Yeah, you're not also, putting any liquor in there, not eating that, babe. Yeah, also it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like a great idea to do two chocolate cakes because there are people that are like allergic to chocolate or just don't like chocolate. So great thinking, McCalty. Yeah, yeah also that. I just want to point um if you look at this screen, oh, she truly is losing is her mind teasing in front of <laughs> Camera. Okay. Ten minutes fifty seven oh. seconds. They're both chocolate. Yay! Chocolate. Oh, I truly can't I believe it. The alcohol one. <laughs> oh, I the alcohol one. Cool. Whatever. I'm having a good time at my party. Hello. Oh, well, they're just learning about alcohol. It's so cute. Yeah. Right here, you're gonna see the liquor in a couple. Right near a couple. Right now. There you see it. Oh there. yeah. There was like a full bottle of Jim Beam, a handle. There was a full thing of like a, like a margarita mix. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey. See, so we can we can name our we can easily name our alcohol just from. Also, our, I'm just gonna say couch. I would never eat anything that McKelty made. I'm not eating anything that's coming Avalon out of her Avalon probably Tony's had her kitchen. fucking fingers all over it. Avalon. Fuck yeah. Avalon. Fucking Tony. You He's know he had his fingies dipping in that Cool Whip all day. I yeah, but I feel like she's holding Avalon. I, I'm just time. making sure it doesn't have any poison in it. Ha! 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 That's a funny joke that oh. I like to do. Yeah, yeah you're I don't right, trust I it. And I, bet you it's, and I bet you it's not that good. No, like they, definitely not. You know how they've always had to tell McKelty, like, oh my God, you're so good at designing dresses. And really, it's like. <laughs> this is McKelty's dress and shoe designs version of a cake. Uh, McKelty's going to be a baker, you guys. It's so good. <laughs> Right. Uh, 11 22. This is the easiest party I've been to. No politics, no waiting on somebody to come because they're late. Shady. It's so easy to be here with just Christine and her kids. Late. No, was this exactly? Logan's graduation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. We're a family. Aww. Janelle and I and our kids are a family. We're just going to stick sweet. together, and it means a lot to me that they're here. Okay, going ahead. Me. I'm at 12.09. Oh, we're in Paralon, Jody. So not too long ago, I decided it would be better for me to move my clothing business up here to the B&B. I did mention it to Cody, and he responded exactly how I thought that he would. He really just didn't care. My plan is to renovate the carriage house and just kind of run my business out of there. So my friend Blair is coming to show us the plans that he has for the carriage house renovation. Hello. Hi. How are you? Blair's business is interior design. Now we've seen this guy, her gay bestie. He always goes to Disneyland with her and stuff. So, uh -huh. um, but we're going to hear a backstory of how they met. And it's actually like pretty, it's funny. So of course I am yeah. hiring him to do this job for me. I'm really excited about it. We have to wait until Jen gets back to actually show us. Okay. But we can go look at the. Let's do it. Want to do that? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Awesome. Jen is very important oh. to this process. Volume. 
She's my best friend and she's tough. You don't need to explain to us anymore that Jen is yeah, You don't need to scream when you're talking, Mary. Jen's yeah, my best my friend. friend. She's been here through all the process. What is it? me through a lot of like the questions and a lot of the ideas and options so she definitely needs to be involved in this whole process it's so good to have you back so excited to be here so i've kind of talked about like the theme that i want Yelling. and that is industrial industrial steampunk i love that stop it industrial no, no. steampunk what does she talk i don't think she thinks I don't think she like, knows what industrial steampunk Deb's is. Deb's OG is steampunk with a top hat and goggles. Like, that's that's like steampunk. Please is let me reintroduce myself. I'm <laughs> Deb's lyrics OG. In that song. I'm Deb's OG breaking through. How about you? Steampunk? <laughs> There's no okay. way. Like all the steampunk is what you think. Like, wood and brick. Gears? Oh, now honey. this this shot with all like the bar the table and all those yeah chairs, that's not steampunk is, no it gives me the energy of Mama Platt's dance studio solid oh this right? stop yeah this bar solid <laughs> you know, uh thirteen thirty four there's the carriage house oh my God I why is everyone singing and, um, honestly it, it doesn't phase me she's no different than any of my other close friends. Um, you know, she's got a heart of gold and I don't trust this guy. Crazy, so. <laughs> I don't know Blair and his nope. husband for probably four or five years. Um, mm -mm. we did meet online initially, but eventually online. in person. We had been kind of cautiously talking just because there's so many people, obviously. Oh god, he's got transition lenses <laughs> out there as being somebody other than they really are. So you have to be very careful with people that you meet online. Look, look, look. So I was catfished quite a few years ago. Hobby Lobby Apothecary. Actually, hold on, hold on. I need to, forgot to change into my, into I have my trusty? trusty Janelle. Oh yeah, I should my, actually just, I should put up for the rest of the episode as our background. Uh, do you want Coyote Pass? Or do which 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 uh do we want coyote pass or do we want the layout or do we, we want the pond? Let's do the pond. Mm. Oh, do the pond. pond. Yeah, it, it just feels like home, you know. Yeah, I know. I feel good. I feel good here. Okay, and also right, it's not so. a pond. All right, uh, this is Mary Hobby Lobby. Trust the Mary. <laughs> this is our favorite shot of Sister Wise. Hobby Lobby a pop carry table. Yeah, <laughs> I am working. Uh, I am typing to people I know. I like her office though. Um, uh, 1421. With a big fat liar. The Ooh, whole story was so fat liar. blown out of proportion and so much. Whoa, Mary's eyes. Nothing was made up, honey. I'm like, uh, the person wrote a book that Ace and Caitlin read on their Patreon, which is actually, yeah, that wasn't made up. That is clearly you, you Mary. The banana picture, the voicemails. Like mm -hmm. this was yep. you, yeah, yep. Can you go back to you? Why won't you like love this? me? Why won't you love me? I love you. Uh, uh, I still remember it. Okay, fourteen thirty. And I still Ooh. kind of have a hard time talking about it, just because everybody. You won't admit that you did anything wrong. Exactly. Like even with our family, some of our own family has their own opinions about us. Like well, I, know I would heard. think they would. So yeah. I talk to people online for business all the time. And one of my prerequisites is that I do a video chat with them. I just want to make sure that they are a legit person. Ooh. Well, that's Innovative. The, yeah. Also not the best vetting because you could just be lying. You could just, as long as you're the what same you gender as oh, the person oh, you're oh. talking to, like you could yeah. still be completely bullshit. Right. Okay. So in here... This used to be like so full. It's actually much emptier than it was mm -hmm. last time I was here. Okay, so you want to do kind of like a workspace okay. here. Okay, this guy already sucks at what he does, I can tell. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, sorry. A lot of storage on And the then, yes. And the dressing room, fitting room will go under. She's going to have a dressing room, fa -fa -fa, fitting room. 
who the fuck is driving to Paraguay? This is for all what all her LuLaRoe Paraguay. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a LuLaRoe pop up. Like, but like a permanent pop up sort of thing. Um, yeah, it'll bring business into Parowan, but it's not even by any airports, isn't it? Like three hours from an airport? Because I remember Cody bitching about that. Yeah. Um, also, can I just like, I mean, can we just talk about the pink elephant in the room? Uh, yeah. She's hiring him because he's gay. So she assumes he's good at designing oh, things. Gosh. It'll be fabulous. Yeah. I don't trust this guy. This guy seems like a scammer. Because no cool Possibly. gay guy his age is hanging out with Mary and the other Lula Robe rods. No offense. Right? Um, I mean, like. In her defense, no. she is the only. I, be, I might be wrong. Is he the first, like, gay character that any of the wives has, like, introduced as their own friend? No, I Robin, Robin she pretends a like, friend. Yeah, she said. She sure said she did. Can I see a picture of that? Mm -hmm. 404 footage not found. Uh, yeah. I know, I know Cody's friends with a Jew. He likes right. to tell us that. Yeah. A Jew. His, his Jew friend, his friend who's a Jew. Right. If he was friends with a gay guy, he would say, I'm friends with a gay. Or I'm friends with one of those people. That's how he would That's how he would present it. He would say it in no <sighs> way that was not a He's gay, but it's he's happy. And but it's he's okay. Gay. I'm okay this with it. Happy. <laughs> Oh, he's uh, so cool with it. Clearly. 15, 20. He helps me pick out my clothes. This is mostly is online, but I also want to have the option if I want to bring people into the space for them to be able to shop there. So definitely having a fitting room is important. Oh my God. She's here. Uh oh, here she is, Jen. We've been waiting for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let the laughs begin. The, yeah, these <laughs> three. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not an option. I know Jen from when we used to live in Las Vegas. I wish mm -hmm. that like Mary and I. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Jen loves you. I'm sure you guys mm. had a great relationship. Yeah. Be more light, like her and Jen are with each other. I really do. Oh, everyone but wants to be like Mary and Jen. The role that we have with each other is sort of consoling each other and helping each other through that trauma that we've gone through with trauma just i know you forgot about the caramels and that funny prank they played on the anthropologist where they all so fed funny. <laughs> robin says they bonded over their trauma though what the fuck trauma i thought robin. they were best friends and they were just so like lucy and ethel <laughs> nope they bonded over their trauma of being married okay all right, I'm going to go here. I'm on, so I it won't be long. Be you know. quick, sir. Okay, I'll be real quick. You didn't sir. Cheat look, did you? No. Okay. No, I did not cheat. I wanted to, but I knew that our friendship was more important than that. <laughs> Jen is completely invested in this. It's really fun for me because she's somebody that I can share this with. They show this fucking picture of the family, the family knows about it. I want to share exciting things in my life with people who are as excited for me in those things. So I just have kept this project close to me and only shared it with the people who really- I love this comment. Mama Squirrel just said, Robin is going to sneak to Parowan and steal Bob away from Mary. Oh. <laughs> She's going to be that skeleton's best she is funny. They do have fun <laughs> times. They do have fun times. <laughs> Uh, 1658. Obviously, my kiddos know about it, but other than that, you know, nobody else in the family knows about it. Ooh. Look at Smurf. We're in Flagstaff, baby. Get ready. 1882, y'all. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, we're in Janelle's new apartment. Okay. The apartment that I've moved into, it's fine. She, okay, so she just said, fine. so Cody asked, what? No, she just goes, eh, it's fine. Yeah, but she specifically <laughs> said, Cody so asked funny. if he could come see this. Yeah, fine. And then in a second, mm -hmm. Cody's going to say, I don't even know why Janelle made me come over and look at this. It's like, you were, you just make up everything. He is a liar. He just lies. Uh, but he believes liar. it in his head. 
Yep. All right. Because he's a narcissist. He's insane. I don't have a relationship, but I feel pathetically that she commonly rejects me. Uh, yeah. Reconcile? It's the weirdest really? sentence. Psycho. It's so simple. I think if he was dying to get back with me, he would have called a counselor. He would be actively <gasps> pursuing that. But there's no communication or conversation about that. Wow. And now he said it. Like, I'm trying to be interested in it. I'm trying to talk about reconciliation. I can't tell if the reason that I'm kind of being shy about it is because she's constantly saying, well, I don't want to reconcile. Or if I'm just kind of happy about her not wanting to reconcile. So I'm like, well, hey, let's go out next week and just talk. Yeah, I think that's things. it. Hi. <laughs> you know, just a specific thing that is stressing me out about Janelle um, well, first of all, her thermo thermostat set to 72. Too hot, babe. Uh, I'm a 64 kind of gal over here. But she's she's like working at her table on her laptop, and the laptop isn't plugged in. Like, I feel like she's constantly oh. running at like a 70% battery. Yeah, you got to dock that, babe. You got to dock it. <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> all right, we're at 1814, and here comes Cody. Hey. Cody has been making effort with Savannah. He takes her out to dinner every couple of weeks. He is every her couple of weeks. <laughs> wow. I see my dad more than that. <laughs> it's a lot bigger, huh? Oh, look at this. This kitchen's awesome. Ugh, okay. I, I guess, I, in a way, this has been a nice that space. That was a good oof. He's kind of been into oof. this space, so it feels like it's kind of like my space. I think it's better than anything I've had probably in Flagstaff so far. It's, I've sort of liked having it as kind of my little sanctuary. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like this place a lot? Yeah. Do you like it more than the last place? Yeah. Like it more than the other place? This is such an awkward interaction. She's trying to get away from you. She's holding me and he's, you like this place? You like it a lot? Is it better than the last place? What, think about if anyone not? did that to you. That That's you walking around. Yep. Yep. Like. She's not a little kid. He's treating her as if she's 10 years old. Yeah, not almost 20. I know it's your 20. dad, so you That's shouldn't weird. feel uncomfortable. But, like, she doesn't know him. He's a stranger. Right, and, right, and he's acting as if they do know each other. And she's like, yeah. We're, this is nope, just I don't know you, babe. Shit. You don't go here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, well, he, won't, he keeps sweet. following her around. Gentle. Gentle. Wow. Oh, I in touch with That's weird. I'm pretty sad that I'm not close anymore. There was just so many things in our lives that we did that were rich together, you know, just special experiences. And I think and hope that in time we'll just get over this and that we'll be safe being mm. back around each other. Right now there's not really an open door with keeping Garrison between they're they're not willing to engage me. This is their fault. Of course. No, I'll, I'll need you to mm. part. Okay, because you're better at hanging pictures. Oh, she slammed right in with an Amanda special there. I'm gonna need you to hang oh, the heart. Here. Yeah, you're you're better at you're better at hanging pictures than me, Cody. And he's like, okay, <laughs> such mm -hmm. a. I mean, oh, she knows what she's doing. As long as you're here, go. You're really good at hanging. I mean, hanging art is you can't really do do it poorly, unless you're lying. No, you stuff. can. I well, trust me, Janelle can. We we've seen the art work at cancer. her. Yeah, yeah. But also, I wonder if it's a dig at like all of their art the ugliest art of all the art it's like you know you're oh, great, great you're so right yeah you're totally right yes yes i wonder because you know you're really good at hanging art cody's mm -hmm. like all right uh 1936 okay i don't know i don't know how weird this is i mean maybe it's just a test it's, it's weird come over and hang pictures sure okay i mean i've been married to four women everything's a test Pick me, pick me, do something for me, do something for me. That's what plural marriage can feel like sometimes. Well, it's kind of what you signed up for, babe. It's huge. Can you see how Cody entered that room? It was horrifying. Here's Johnny. That's what it was right there. I think, I think it was Akira on TikTok did like a little thing of like Cody every time he enters a room and it's him, but then Jack Nicholson. of like, here's, yes. here's Johnny. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, other stuff God. we've had. That's amazing. Uh, totally. Wow. Uh, yeah, I like this place. Uh, the other apartment was pretty cramped. But it's just dawning on me that maybe the whole reason Janelle moved here was because the other apartment was our place. And I was living there with her. 
No, it's because the other apartment was bullshit. She couldn't even like put her arms out and spin in a circle. Yeah, I was her just going to say that she be moved because she was like, yeah, I got to get out of here. Yeah. So now he'd rather her stay in the shithole because it reminds her of him. He's jealous. He's like, I, I mean, this really oh. is the Cody Robbins special is twisting everything to the other person actually victimizing them. I wonder Staying how much she pays misery. for this because this is a very nice apartment. It's nice and space spacious, and her and Savannah have their own bedroom and bathroom, oh, and they're nice. all everything looks brand new. Um, people are have been asking all night and morning for your um, opinion on the kitchen. We're going to get to it in a second because Cody's going to comment on it. Okay. Uh, okay. Just... Yes, yeah, so we look countertops. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like I'll be living here with her. Is this a storage closet, Andy? Wow. That hold on, pause. Blue is mine. That, that was like a yeah. I was just gonna say that. Oh, is that is oh that, that rhubarb? It's, it looks like rhubarb, but it's actually spinach. It is. Oh. That's the same thing. Ooh. Is that a laundry? Yeah. Is, that, is that a closet? No, it's a laundry oh, laundry room. Wow. Have you never been inside an apartment? In no. Your life? Oh no, that's not good enough for Cody. He needs a single God. family home or nothing at all. He like he his mind is blown, and Janelle is so irritated. She's like, "No, it's a fucking washer mm -hmm. and dryer. Can you get out, please?" Yeah. Uh, it's her apartment. It's not ours. Yeah, it's right. It's not about because you didn't, weren't coming. Why is she showing me? Other than well, I mean, our daughter lives there. That's a great reason too, Cody. Yeah, yeah. it's poop in a group. Oh yeah, Janelle says poop in a group here, just so you know, and it, that's like the big. I don't that's the big talk of the town. I don't like that. Um, 2112. Back in Parowan, get ready. I'm ready. Okay. So wait, I've always wanted to do something okay. with this building. And so it's kind of fun that it is now going to be usable space. Wow, you like kind of went crazy. Oh, no. God. This is the awesome. carriage house for you. <gasps> so the office is in the corner here. Okay. These are going to be the hanging shelves, the program. So that we can like hang. Them. Correct. Clothes all on. of that. All of these will be. You'll oh. be able to hang clothes. Yeah. So far, I am loving it. It looks so cool. It's really hard to imagine that this space could look this awesome because it just doesn't right now. It's a cement floor and a couple of walls. Uh, I mean, I know we talked about this countertop, but I still think you should do like a nice white granite or. And you were against the white granite? She was. I don't like look. white. No, 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 oh, no God. white. I do not she want hit my house. a solid white <laughs> countertop on the island. I don't like white. I like some like a pink nice sparkle. Gray. Pink sparkle? Yeah. I wasn't told about that. Yeah, of course. She's going to suggest pink sparkle. <laughs> Jen! Because she is all kinds of pink and sparkly, and she knows that I am absolutely not. Damn it. Oh, that's I'm pretty funny. That is funny. Really? I don't know why they're ganging up on me. What is the shape of that? Round circle. What shape is that? More not circle. I don't like circles. Don't circle, don't sparkle. She doesn't like white or circles or sliding doors. Don't circle, don't sparkle, don't circle. Don't circle, don't sparkle. Circles are dumb. Like, I guess. Oh, circles are dumb. It's like a real hot take. Circles are dumb. Okay. Okay, that was something that she said to Jen, and Jen got a big laugh out of it. And she's like, I'm, I'm bringing this one. Are the dumbest shape, and this was originally circle, as you'll see in my drawings. But we had to quickly change that. I never said I was an easy person. To work with. Listen, we know. Y'all saw me when I built my house in Las Vegas. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not having a sliding door, Cody. I have said right. that from the beginning. Right. See, what do you think? I mean, it would be it is Mona Ricky. Yes. Nope. You're right. It is. Gotcha. I'm easy. Uh oh. Well, but I might want a wet bar or a deck. You can sit here and squabble about whether it's off one thirteenth or twenty fourth of an inch in six feet. Mary really wants to be in charge of where things are placed. 
and we're we're like <laughs> supposed to be in charge of everything. Yes, she's a little bit of a of a control freak. Coming <laughs> from really cool thing it, why is he laughing? I don't like that. Project. It's all mine. Like I don't have to worry about what Cody thinks or likes. I mean, not that I've had to over a really long time because he's totally distanced himself from me mm. in a relationship. But like this project gets to be my project. And this wood on the floor. The floor, yeah. Yeah. These are. Are those island colors? These are the wall colors. These three. Too dark, babe. And these are the island colors. They are dark, yeah. And it's then a look dark. how well the white countertop goes with that. Please do a white countertop. It actually I promise looks you, once really it's nice. in and you see it against the floor, against the brick, you're going to love it. I have envisioned more of like a wood grain a wood tone and he says that that's not going to be good but i say white is not going to be good so i think we're going to have to be doing some searching countertops see she's this is why i think her personality is not as toxic now because she she is being very easygoing here she was an outright biatch during those flashbacks Oh, yeah. No, she was a monster. Nice. Yeah. yeah, like, awful. You're not going to see any of anything before the final reveal. You understand that, right? Um, Once all the hard stuff is done, I'm going to come in, put all the finishing touches on, and you're not going to be able to come out until we do the final reveal. <laughs> He's not going to let me even in to see it past a certain point. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Oh, my this. God. <laughs> Blair. I can't oh. this. Good idea, Blair. He definitely knows who he's de dealing with here. He's like, you don't get to even walk in there. Like there will oh, be. I think Blair path. is so attention thirsty. He's reminding me of, um, oh my God, what the heck was his name? He was. He lived in Lisa Vanderpump's house. Cedric. He's the Cedric. He's Mary Cedric. Okay, if you get that reference, I, you're I welcome. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure most people do, just not me. Uh, Twenty-five thirty-seven circles with a white countertop yes i love that yeah you i mean i it. get to but no she, yeah nobody does. i'm gonna sneak in the window Absolutely. like at night we'll have fog <laughs> have, like no trespassing <laughs> signs and i'll have like a no trespass <laughs> order Anxiety oh that'll be so funny i, I, I don't get to I love this charge. no you're this getting a big awesome. reveal you're getting a big reveal i'm, I'm kind of excited, excited to see the reveal i've very well aware that i'm a control freak like i just want to be in charge and i want it my way but what i've been understanding is that comes from kind of a place of self-protection yeah like from I, I, having like a traumatic a, childhood weird, yeah. Yeah. nobody else is going to and i know that that's something that i need to i need to kind of let go of a little bit got this thing in this episode today is a very good day Blair's designs are beautiful i have no idea what kind of countertop we're gonna have at this point but you know, I'm super excited. I'm built awkward. <laughs> Do we get to right. see the countertop or no? Oh, no. Like, the reveal is probably going to happen. Like, it'll be like the season finale. Oh, I dang. Think. So, where people ask me, like, what I would say about the countertop? No, no. Just. Oh, it's trust. something else. Okay. 2718. I want to peek in your. She has another big bathroom. I have no idea why Janelle switched apartments. If Janelle told me why she's moved, I have forgotten. Because off the top of my head, I don't remember why she moved. Wow. I, this is really pretty cool. How many square feet's the whole thing? 1,500. So it's bigger than the house design. Yeah. So right now... He likes the, the inside better than their little... Well, because it's not cluttered. I was going to say, like, no, he... Yep. You can breathe in here. I don't know if that yeah. was Savannah's room or if that was Chris, uh, Janelle's room that they just He showed. likes that it. it's light and bright and, mm -hmm. yep. Oh, he, man. He's, been, he's about to make the only comment he can think of that's negative in a second, and that's where you can okay. jump in. Okay. For what I want to build on Coyote Pass are 1,200 square feet. So this is actually a little bit bigger. I, I don't think I want to go with a design that, you know, like just doing a casita over a house. Stop talking about the fucking casita and look at Janelle with her arms crossed, just looking at him like, "Are you fucking? Are you talking to like, me?" Really? Like, oh, oh, we're 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 talking about the house. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
if we're um, if we're doing something bigger, we might as well have the space. Let's either build the casita or build the main house and the casita later. The biggie housey. And now that she's got this apartment, maybe she just wants to build the main house. He's not putting any money up for the house that I'm building, so oh. I don't understand this waiting. I'm yeah, the one getting yeah. financing. I think it's a throwback to when we really did consider all the wow. family stuff to the whole family. Back when Robin but was there. That really doesn't apply anymore. Uh, I mean, we, we could build a house, a 1,500-square-foot you know? house or a 2,000-square-foot house with a garage if you wanted. I thought you, you were just... just yeah, you also need money for that, sweetheart, Mr. Brown. So like, she's saying, like, well, I mean, you could do this. And she's like, I, I'm building the house with my money, so I can yeah. kind of, like, do what I but want. But also, I live it. here, and this house, is, this apartment is sick. Yeah. So right. You, whatever you want. Oh, God, he looks so stupid standing there talking I about this. Major, I think it's a waste to just make the one house that she ever has out there a garage with a casita over it. I mean, 1,200 square feet on a full two acres. It's just kind of like, uh, what's the point? I, I, it doesn't work for me. But I, I, I'm not a it's not even up to me anymore. I just have a What he's going to say is, I'm not going to be there anyway, is what he's going to say. Yeah. We still have to pay off the land this year. Yeah. Look, right now, I'm still seriously <laughs> yeah. considering building on She's the like, property. so what you going to do about it? It represents pretty much my estate, like what I have to show for all these years. Yeah. And um, the reality is, I don't know if Cody will ever get his poop in a group and build out there. So maybe they Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that saying, and I don't know why, but I don't like it. But I mean, I might be able to do something for our cover. By the way, Jody's the one that did the Diesel Jeans cover for this week. Because I oh. I'll post it in the group every week and people kept saying like great job on the cover. But just so you know, Jody did that one. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's just got really weird. I don't oh, know. No, I just, just want you to get into it. Give credit. <laughs> <laughs> but I might do a poop in the group cover this week. <laughs> I don't, that, know. Ew, God, I don't like that good. saying. It's like booger no. butt. It's like a uh, Amber Portwood's booger butt to me. Yeah, it's got that Baby same. Uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't <laughs> twenty nine, twenty four. Okay. There's such a thing as a really good high fence, and we can put those between the property. <gasps> so I don't even have to oh. interact with them. <laughs> she's she's I think over I'm now. I'm going through the storage units and working on fitting in this space. I'm never gonna. I mean, like if I build, it's gonna be this size. So I might as well get rid of the, all the extra furniture and stuff. Yeah, I might as well just get rid of everything I owned having to all do your, with you or Robin. Yeah, all your stuff is like gone. Yeah. Talk about my bye bye. This is it's all gone. brand new shit, just like Christine's house. Because I saw in the background of Christine's kitchen, she had one of those things that holds the um, like wooden spoons and the tall utensils. And I could tell mm. that all the wooden spoons were like brand new. It was like a set of five. She probably just bought that week. Isn't that so nice when you move into a new place and you can just have like all new shit? Fresh. Yeah, just fresh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fresh God, I love it. But she's just she's just letting him be stupid. At this point, I don't really see just... Cody in the equation. I really just don't. Cool. Cool. Don't let you hang pictures here? Yeah. I'm not worried about... Are they going to let you hang pictures here? I know it's Cody's first concern because art. You got yeah, to invest in art. You should probably just move back to your other smaller place if they're not going to let you put pictures up on the wall here because a lot of places do that and it's just... Mm, also, that's I've never lived in a place that it. doesn't let you put... Because they always just like spackle over it. It's like well, I mean, let's, let's talk about why he's saying that because he doesn't want to put them up. He's like, I don't... <laughs> I, was like, I, was ex wasn't I don't even know do if they're going to... Yeah. I don't think they're going to let you do that here. Should probably check. No, they fix it when you move out. It's awesome. Cool. It's like, like where do I great. go from here? Now I got to hang him up. Great. He's making this I mean, shit This, this whole right situation now. has been really awkward. And so we've kind of run out of the superficial things to talk about now. So now we're all kind of like, uh, <laughs> That's so funny. That's really cool. So why different countertops, I wonder? Oh, I didn't ever notice. I don't. <laughs> this is a classic Amanda Jody conversation. Well, first of all, he's just trying to think of anything to comment shitty on. But it would be you saying, "Oh, there's two different things," and I would have been like, "Honestly, this I've never even noticed that." I didn't notice. That was I the first thing didn't. I noticed in this scene. I was like, "Oh, I'm they sure. did a lighter island, and they did black ones over there." And in my mind, I'm like, "Oh, probably because the builders got like a better deal." So they're yeah, they don't want to pay as much for the you know the lighter ones. Yeah. So we'll get the cheap. Granted, one. countertop is much better than the one you used to have. I didn't. Oh, 
That one was. I mean, really what I used heinous. to have was. That, I'm like, I feel so vindicated. You have no idea. Um, but it was really bad. It literally was like one of the first things I wanted to get rid of after the divorce. I'm like, it, it's out of here. Um, uh -huh. This is, I, it, it, it's, but it's very classic Janelle. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> notice. What, what one is black Debbie and one is white. Yeah. <laughs> when Auntie Debbie comes over here, she'll, especially the first like year, she'd point out stuff like, oh, do you want me to fix that thing? Or do you want me to put a new like light in here? And I was, I was like, I've never even... Like, I didn't even know that was there or that vent was there. She's like, all the lights, light bulbs are burnt out in this bathroom. You never noticed. You're like, Oof. we've had these conversations. I, she's like, well, I want to put a new fluorescent light above your oh washer God. and dryer. And I'm like, I'm like, have you ever seen me have like light overhead light in my house? It's always lamps, <laughs> always a low, all the way. Well, down. what are you going to use in your laundry room then? It's down in the basement. Just like in like, go the in there dark. No, there's like a, there's a, there's a single bulb that you pull like yeah. <laughs> There's that, but then there's also this yeah. big fluorescent light like this oh, that you can okay. turn on right above. And I'm like, I also don't fold my laundry in the basement. Yeah. And then carry it upstairs. I carry it upstairs in a big like Santa I bag. And then my it sits on my couch. to like, come over <laughs> after she's <laughs> done lining my shelves and she carries it up. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just like, I'll just like live out of the laundry basket. I'll have like a, a dirty one and a clean one. And I just like live out of the clean one and then it just goes into the dirty. It's a system. Hey, why not? Here's who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, I want I bet Janelle has mm. never folded laundry ever. 30 minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, a light one and a dark one. It's I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Or if somebody broke it and they couldn't replace it. They just thought they'd get well, let's get I didn't even notice. So what? No, no. Oh, okay. So right there, no, she noticed he was just being a dick, and she's like, oh, "Okay, yeah. I I didn't notice the right. well granite cares, countertops then? and this nice apartment that I'm living in." Yeah, no. Have clutter. you seen your stupid, ugly, outdated mansion that I'm paying for? Yeah. I could probably get new granite on my own if I could uh, have more money every month to put towards my own living expenses. When Robin and Code, now I'm not a realtor, but if when Robin and Cody do ultimately have to sell their house because they clearly can't afford it, um, is the realtor going to make them like take down every, like they're going to have to restage the entire oh, house, Oh yeah. Right? Oh, they're going to restate it. Would. They're going to have to repaint it and everything. Yeah. I mean, it's already like outdated. They're going to recommend for the price that they're going to have to sell. We're going to make at. them take the art of all the arts off the wall and all the you, clutter. You like right? totally depersonalize your house when you're selling. You're taking everything down. Oh, when I Maybe showed my house, like things. I didn't have to do anything. It just sold because oh, I keep my house looking good. Yeah. I mean, well, normally like your personal photos and things like that. Like, you oh, take that yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think of that. You think I have personal photos of myself up in my house? <laughs> <laughs> I love looking at myself. Yeah. There's look not a single one with me in a in my house up right now anyway. you have kids I though know. I have pictures of my pets well uh, I have 30 minutes pictures 30. of them not me okay what else to say I don't know what else to say to bitch about it I don't think that's why it's so awkward I don't know I'm a, I'm a much deeper sink too yeah sink it's you not like that? it's not so shallow yeah you like that uh, <laughs> we are all just trying to fill the space here including Savannah yeah, Janelle's like, all oh, right, yeah. time to hit the old dusty trail, Cody. Like, that's Yeah, I think it's time to divorce when, like, you've run out of things to talk about to the point that it's awkward between you, your together. husband, and your mm -hmm. child. Uh, I'm looking at this apartment, I'm like, it's really obvious to me I'm never going to live in it. Like, why am yeah. I talking about a deep sink? Who cares? Because I'll never do dishes in there. Because it's your daughter's house and she likes it. Dog friendly. Mm -hmm. Dog friendly. Here's the thing. It's like this double life. That Dog I'm friendly. I love it's it. like being a polygamist. Dog I'm friendly. sure some polygamists do this. I didn't have no. this experience in plural marriage till now. I have a whole life outside of Savannah and Janelle. But whenever I'm with them, I don't talk about any of my other life. And because that consumes most of my time and most of my life, I don't have anything to talk about. Like, well, yeah, that's your own problem, you idiot. Yeah. He literally just did like the thesis statement on like the Cody Brown family, but he doesn't realize well, what just, he just said. Also, just conversation. Like, okay, listen, 
I have my life when we're not talking, right? Right. You have yeah. your life when we're not talking. That doesn't mean we can't then have things to talk about together. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't know what you do throughout the day. day. <laughs> like, we each have our own life. And then so we, TikToks all day. And you can talk about things other than that other life. Yeah. Like so here's bizarre. an interesting thing that happened to me the other day when I was at the, at the store. Yeah. There're just okay, things also, that have two two things of note. Um number one, I don't appreciate Cody's body language in here cuz he, he's like in the power position. Like he's, he's behind be, the sink in the middle of the kitchen like... looking out at them. Um also there is a box of honey nut cheerios on top of Janelle's fridge. Oh, you and... don't think I clocked that? <laughs> It's up on the fridge because the 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 drawers are. But do you notice the top? Those. Box open, bag open, sticking up. Oh, up. Janelle! Just like, oh, just Honey nut the Stale as can be. No, that's one. That's oh, the cereal that goes stale, stale pretty easily. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. I don't know what else to say. Should we yeah. go get something to eat? You want to yeah. go? Sure. Savannah's like, what are we going to talk about now? Like, oh, we have nothing else to say. He looks at the watch. He's like, I mean, it is, uh, it's already 4.30. So how about we uh, get dinner? Robin's just about to get home to my up. actual family. Yeah. Right. I hate him. Cody came over. It went better than I expected. This is the first time he's been in my he was a dick the whole time. since we had our fight. So I think yeah. there's still echoes of that in my mind. But there was no fireworks. There were no crosswords. We were all friendly. It went well. It went better than I could have hoped for. I asked you all once, hey, what is it? Why, why can't we reconcile? Let's, let's try and reconcile. Why can't we? Well... I don't know what your relationship with Robin and Mary are, but I'm just not interested in being involved in those with those people. Ooh, uh, those people. Because that's, that's the deal we made about plural marriage. Things, if we're not together, then I don't know why I work a relationship with Robin and Mary. There's mm. not a lot in common. There's nowhere that we cross over. I don't know why I would do that. You know, so like it feels like something he's trying to use to excuse his behavior. Well, Adam Rabble, is this a man? Is there a real man in our chat? Uh, says, get ready, Jody. I don't even know what you're referring to. Are we talking about tr fucking trees or something? All right. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. I'm at 3247. I want to get back together with you. It's your fault. You, you'll you be a bad sister wife. I have to protect Robin. You know, because he's not a relationship with Mary. I have to protect Robin against you, you bad sister wife. When... Reality is, he's never come to me and said, hey, I love you. I miss you. I want to get this back together. Wow. It's always about, don't you want to get the family back together so that his life can run smoothly again? And I, I'm done Just with like that, really with am. Christine and the Rocks on their honeymoon trip. It was about it's the family. About I can't get the puzzle pieces back together. But I'm going to ask her again next week if we might be able to reconcile. Oh, next week. I'm sure week. that'll go. That'll be. I'm sure she'll be really yep. up for it. That, that's when I'm also <laughs> working out next. It's going to be next week. I'll, I'll so get I, around to it. Was, how sly was I when I stopped my cam for a second to take a hit of my vape? And then you could hear it go. Oh. And then I come back and it's just a cloud of smoke. I really pulled the wool over everyone's eyes, I think. Uh, I'm at 33.38. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Big news. Simple treasures for sales gone live. Do not. You you guys can, you know. Engage. We're almost done here. Yeah, we have like oh, 10 minutes. Uh, okay. okay. It's very time. I'm just saying, if you could do two things, go watch Simple Treasures for Sale. And do yes, not watch. out us. Yeah. Good God. All right. Don't do it. Okay. Maybe I should get more serious about it. Yeah, uh, maybe. But every time it's like, nope. Yeah, do you dude. All right. Well, yeah, like about 25 years too late, asshole. I'm at 3426, and there's a there's a nice we're on a shot of a horse, Jody. Jody's oh. favorite animal to interact with. Oh, I like that story, dude. So the last couple of months. 
has just been me doing a lot of processing and thinking and trying to figure things out. Cody basically told me that he was never going to have a relationship with me and to basically don't have any hope for it because it's never going to happen. You know, and at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm on my way up to Parowan again. <laughs> she's still she's still working out what her plan is. Right? God. Or Cody. <laughs> He's told her countless times, I hate you. Yeah. Because some trees are being torn down. Land the plane. Okay, let's. <laughs> I have to have two of the three big, huge pine trees in the front yard taken down. They are leaning. The root structure is. A this is what we're doing, really. Oh yeah, the whole this rest of this is we're at the season where we're watching yeah. tree removal. Now I watched. Uh, Auntie Debbie had two big trees removed from my backyard, like a fucking two hundred year old pine tree. But oh. it, it was constantly like needles just everywhere, and it was mm. there was no sun. It's like, oh, you need some more light in the house. I'm like, ah, the curtains are always closed, and like the blackout curtain is down, but fine. Um, but I from my bedroom window. I was watching him do it. Do you know how they fucking do it? Some man shimmies to the top of the, and they just cut yeah. it down in little sections. I was like, yeah. holy shit. I hope those guys get paid like $7,000 an hour because that that's insane. It's a, well, it's a crazy job. Just, it's going to be on your TikTok now. Um, just I just want to address. That, no, right. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina oh. says, why is this simple treasures? Yeah, sitting on the bed. Okay. You guys keep it down. Do not out us. And I'm dead serious. This is the so blind that's, guy. That's John, AKA the blind guy. When but he's not, he's a dick. Him, we, we don't think that he's totally blind, allegedly. Right. And he's a monster. And Wendy sometimes drinks um, like Captain and Coke. So things could get pretty lit in the chat. Just oh, watch yeah. out. And they're going to talk to Alexa soon. Careful in the comments because... Get, they're very easily upset. Okay, let's go. Sorry. It's huge and heavy, and for safety purposes, they need to be removed. Yeah, and aesthetically, it just, it just doesn't look good. The whole look of the front yard of that house, but they're old, but it makes me sad. Like, okay, super, Mary. Super sad. You know, here's the thing. We so why should you have to yell? <laughs> Trees, man, you want to be in the trees, right? I like the trees. But oh, God, here we go. It's like right in the trees. where Robin's wearing like an enormous parka and Mary isn't even wearing a jacket in this scene. Because mm -hmm. Rob's like so a yeah, light She's flannel. Trees and the house is really dark. Like, ah, you know, like your house, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I literally it. have no idea. They're massive. So I can only imagine that they were here when Lizzie lived here. Lizzie oh, no one cares family. about Lizzie. Lizzie did not have a sister wife. They were not in a plural family. However, Lizzie was raised in a plural family. She had two moms. Just the thought of tearing something down that was here when my grandma was a kid. It's really, really sad. It's really sad. Well. But you're making her it. carriage house a steampunk boutique. <laughs> Way to honor. I'm so Lizzie. sad. Stupid. It looks kind of bare and empty. But, you know, it's got to get done. Being here at the B&B in Parowan has kind of become my safe space right now. Cody and I had a conversation on our anniversary of all days. I called him. Isn't that weird? And I said, yeah. hey, happy anniversary. And he's like, thanks. Happy anniversary to you, too. So I'm like, hey, we should go out on a drive or go to dinner or something. He's like, I mean, I'm watching. You don't need to tell us, Mary. We all saw it. I'd have yeah, to ask Robin <laughs> if she has any plans. I'm like, all right, ask Robin if she has any plans. That was weird. I Robin, for the record, Robin never has plans. She doesn't go outside. Do you see what her skin looks like? Yeah. Actually, talk to Robin later and I told her that he said that and she's like he's so dumb I wouldn't make plans on that day <laughs> oh bullshit 
what is he saying? said i don't even know why you called me to say happy anniversary mary you know that we're never going to have a relationship again right and i said well i i'm okay with working on something he says i don't want to ever go back to what we were and i said i'm good with that i don't believe in moving back let's move forward like you and I are different people. Ah, here's a flashback of Ariola, age eight, where where the big key. So oh this is the last God. season. We don't even know who each other are right now. Why don't we just be curious about each other and learn about each other and figure some things out? He's like, I don't want to. Your life is not one that I want to insert myself into. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Hey then. <laughs> You know, it's been a couple of months since that conversation, and I think about it often, and also I just don't want to think about it. We really haven't had any sort of marriage for like eight years. Okay, so it's they just left bone eight years ago. I know the person that he was when we got married. I know the, the couple that we were. This I was is 18 when I met Cody and Mary. They were so cute. Um, everybody wanted to be around them. They were the it couple. He was so charming with her and just sweet mm. with her. I like this because Janelle's also going to say the same thing. And it just, it's like, Cody, when you're saying one thing, but three other people have a totally different memory of how that was, like, you can't rewrite history. Then. Even people who and don't I, like her are like, yeah, you guys. No, don't want really anything to do with her. They're both standing up for Mary. That's why I became interested in Cody, was because how well he treated Mary. And I was like, yeah, sign me up for that. Aww. When you come into a family as a plural wife, you're looking to see how the relationships that came before you yeah. are faring. Because you're not going to come into a relationship if a, if a man can't manage his family already. Why would you sign up for that? That's like all kinds of danger signs. When I entered the family, Cody and Mary, they were in love. They were attached. They were connected. They did things together. They were always together. They were a couple, for sure. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of- That was like literally a 20 second shot of just us yeah. watching the tree get A tree lowered. <laughs> so low. No, no, under, no dialogue being said. What more episodes are you going to give us? Because like it's starting to run dry a little bit here. He couldn't see that there is value to, you know, three decades of history. So sad. Now we're watching them throw everything into a wish. Shop up for family what history. What the future looks like. I don't know if I'm surprised gonna... Cody didn't want to save the logs. That's exactly what I was thinking. Cause at the end they leave the like two big ones. I'm like, I wonder if Cody like for paid Cody. for them. Reserved. Yep. Living life in this family that like I have been doing for quite a few years, like not a wife, just a member of the family. Right. I could do that. Well, no one oh, wants God, that's or, sad. Why? It is super sad. Or I could just, you know, stay in Flagstaff and just keep doing what I'm doing and still just kind of hope, you know? Like, he's made oh, it clear God. that there's no point to hope. So I just, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lack of real interest. Oh. <laughs> Not on my part. There's a flashback to the murder tarp date, as Corey and Carly call it. Um, yeah. Also, I think they. I think unless I dream this, they they messaged us asking if if we wanted to do a collab with them, like on their podcast. And I was like, uh, I, I mean, we will. I feel like they get shit every time we go on there. Mm -hmm. they, they shouldn't. I, they're we gonna have a hard. great time. I think yeah. the four of us have a blast. But we're like, you're gonna pay for this later. Sorry about that. Yeah. You don't have to do. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at forty minutes and fifty two seconds. Screw him. He's not worth it. Yes. Yep. Oh God, the sad dinner. It's your yeah, anniversary at La I mean, it really is because it's not what I wanted. I didn't want him to come to me and be like, mm, "I really just don't want to ever have a relationship with you again," and I really didn't want the trees to come down. And yet here we are. 
Oof. See, like, look how good those logs are for Claudie. You know oh, what I would have loved? Big old logs. Yeah. Who would have loved if um, they put on as the ver as, as this episode was ending, just showing those big logs going into the wood chipper? Because uh, Cody on the rewatch would be so pissed. So pissed. Tagged away down the road. <laughs> oh, thrown into so like good. the ocean. <laughs> Hi, Luchis. I know you're hungry. Now that the trees are down. It's not as bad as I expected it to be. Ah, it was a metaphor, man. It is. It's weird. It's not what I feared. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yep. Amen the only to that. Thing about, yeah, the only thing about watching these Mary scenes and kind of how pathetic she's seeming is knowing that present presently they are completely, like, she's blessed. Yeah. Which, but good. I mean, they weren't good for each other, and she did cheat on him. I mean, let's be real, she did. Banana pick. So, um, uh, yeah, but good for her. Next, it's gonna go into next time on Sister Wives, I think. Yes. yes. So here we are. Next time on Sister Wives. Everyone comes with a past. Mine's really complicated. Ooh. We're two desperate guys on the farm. Just which guy is that? That's the one that that uh, Cody officiated his wedding. I think. At first, I thought it was, was Nathan it? guy. It's it's oh uh, it's, no, this, that guy looks more like a. Yeah, I think like, you're right. I think it might have been his, his, his other best friend. Yes, his other best friend. Trying to get the equipment <laughs> work long enough for the harvest. <laughs> The hard not funny. God, he wants to grow with someone so Cody. hard. I don't really miss Robin. I don't I haven't talked to <gasps> Mary in almost a year. I mean Janelle oh. and I were the only part yeah. of our plural family that survived. Change is good. Oh. Cody and Robin live in monogamy. Mary's not part of the equation with their family. I'm having mm. to fight hard to get my estate separated. Well, Robin and yeah. I are gonna be like this. You're not gonna separate us. Uh, so clearly the next episode Whoa. is probably going to focus on Mary, it sounds like, but also we finally get to talk about the money and the splitting up of the land. You, they need to talk about their finances more. So I'm excited. We're like this. Oh <laughs> my God. Well, like too. again, and there you said it, you idiot. So dumb. Like, God, <laughs> he's so dumb. Um, okay. Well, I mean, what else? Check out Patreon. Check out uh, Total Request Podcast. You'll be getting, um, um, oh, there you go. Amanda's, Amanada's Teen Mom recaps. You just had yeah, some very Mom. special guests on. And um, do you want to tell everyone once again about you and Joan? Oh, yeah, yeah. really quickly. Yeah. And we actually had a meeting yesterday. It was very professional. <gasps> And oh. he's, like, he's like, I just want to make sure that we don't get any comments about like us being annoying or loud. And I'm like, you can't even like, that's not an option. Welcome to like, the jungle, babe. <laughs> yeah, like, no matter what. I'm, I, and I was like, I even wrote in my notes, Joan, don't look at the comments. Yeah. Just don't, yep, yep, yep. Just don't look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're calling it uh pod in the city and it's a sex in the I love city it so much. recap and an, and just like that recap. We're kind of going back and forth, and I forgot to mention this. Shit. I'm going to say this right now. Do you have a couple, like, three minutes, Jody? Uh-huh. Yes. Do you? Go. Okay. Yes. Um, Let's do it. We're, we might do, like, and just, because there's only a few episodes, we might do, like, and just like that, and then an episode of Girls, and then a just like that, Girls, or, like, just do, like, every other week. Mm, but yeah. I'm going to put up a survey in the Facebook group, probably later tonight. Um, Which would you guys like? We're between Gossip Girl, Broad City, or... Oh. And just like not or um shit girls, gossip girl girls, broad city, and the Carrie Diaries. So I'm gonna put up a survey, but also let us know in the comments. That I'll, I'll leave yeah. this up so you guys can talk. Oh, that's a good idea. That. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. I should have said that at the beginning. Thank you, Jody. And I think yes. that's it. Smash that like. Uh, you can leave us a and, tip. Uh, and all that good stuff. You know where everything is. You're all adults. We'll see you next week. Same time, yeah. same place. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 What's your cue? Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment 
and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast. That's patreon.com slash trpod. And we love to hate TV. Patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.